the bully king. Yes, 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 what's happening, people? Welcome to episode, is it 76? Or 77. 77. 77. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Two sevens. I don't know what <laughs> that means in bingo. I was going to kind of do some form of call, but 77. What's going on, man? How's it going? All good, man. All yeah. good, brother. All good, man. Yeah, Funny old good. week. Funny old mm. week. All good in the hood. All right. So, yeah, I thought you were going to tell me a little bit more about without your weeks and stuff. Right? So, I mean, <laughs> or just straight to nice. business. No. Nah. Well, I think we're going to mention one part of it um, about Sam right. and stuff like yeah. that. So, yeah, we just. All right, straight to business. All right. No worries. All right, people, let's start the weekly roundup. All right. Um, this week is Children's Mental Health Week. Yeah. And. I thought it'd be something for us to like touch on because obviously I know that obviously a lot of us are in this kind of lockdown and a lot of us are following the rules, not leaving the house, not going out. And it's just important to kind of look after your mental health and your well-being, especially when you're constantly getting depressing stories about the South African variant has now come to Tottenham in the Sevillian area. I mean, not I just top, not not just yeah. Tottenham, by the way, other parts of the UK. Not just oh, yeah, no, no. To be fair, to be fair, once I saw N17, I didn't know about it. I didn't read anything else. <laughs> I hear anything else. I that like, one, that <laughs> one was. I saw that and I thought, you know what? I've had enough. You know, it's like my mind automatically just shuts down. Good, good, good. <laughs> Bruv, I've closed all my windows. Even the Amazon's not allowed to leave the parcels on the door no more. Yeah. Anyway, but yeah, no. Nah, so there's a lot of stuff that's a bit depressing and stuff like that. So um, we want to kind of give you some things to kind of help uplift you. Over to Kel. Wow. Well, okay. Cool. No, no, because obviously <laughs> <laughs> he was already <laughs> under under pressure. Du, 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 du. No, <laughs> no, because obviously during these times, uh, during the winter period as well. Anyway, people are a lot more down and out because it's late mornings. You wake up, it's dark, cloudy all day, and then four thirty, it's dark. You know mm. what I mean? So it's like, and then on top of this, you got lockdown. You know what I mean? And then your house is normally your home no more because at home. You got your office, you got your gym. It's just not your home. It's you, you, your home's not your escape no more because everything's in one place. So obviously, this is the mm. reasons why people become uh, depressed and in, in an unhealthy mental state. And obviously, um, you know, people don't have, that don't have families or are single, you know, I can I can relate to that because it's like they have no one to speak to, no one to offload to, no one to communicate with, or just no one to just offload their problems to or stuff like that. So they just build it up. And it can mount up to different things in their, in their lives, you know what I mean? But a lot of people that a lot of people don't know about meditation and how to just focus their energy and how to separate your thoughts from, you know, what I mean, your negative thoughts from affecting you and stuff like that. So there's a few things that's that's been on TV recently. Um, the first thing that I started watching was a, a series that comes on Netflix. Um, it's called uh, Headspace Guide to Meditation. Headspace Guide to Meditation. I thought it's called on Netflix. It's, a eight, it's got eight episodes and basically each episode teaches you how to, like you've got an appreciation one, how to appreciate, meditate, how to just relax, meditate, how to, you know, there's, there's different, there's different um, meditations that we don't know about. But this guy, basically, he, he was in the UK. I can't remember something happened to him and he just thought, you know what, I need to escape. Man is meant to, you know, like the Batman story where mm-hmm. Bruce, Bruce Wayne is went to the, 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 the mountains in, in, in China and yeah. then started start doing the whole monk thing. That's what this guy done, you know what I mean? Went to this, went to some community in China, studied how to become a monk and became a monk. And obviously being a monk, a large part of that is meditating in it. So he just breaks it down for you easily, how to do it. And obviously he coaches you how to do it. The first time it's hard because you, obviously you're not used to meditating and, and, and it's like all these thoughts are coming to your mind. This is rubbish, this ain't gonna work. And then mm-hmm. you start, not, before your heart be like, but just, just keep practicing. Just keep listening to all the episodes, stuff like that it really helps you really guide you on how to meditate. It's really good. How do you and find also, it? It just popped up on my, um, on my, on my Netflix. It just popped up. I don't, no, I don't no, know no, the, no. I mean, I how do you find it in a sense of the oh, meditation yeah, itself? Oh, yeah, no, it's though. good. To be honest with you, I watched the first three, three episodes. They really helped me. And um, anytime I, I'm at work or I'm feeling a bit stressed or I feel a bit, a bit anxiety coming, I practice it straight away. I just practice it. Mm-hmm. Like, and, and then it makes me at ease. And then I just I continue my day. But the thing is, you have to practice. The more you practice, because the, the mind is so powerful. So, like, the more you practice it, 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 it enlarges your the intelligent part of your brain, and also, and it decreases 
brain that causes the part of the brain that causes stress and anxiety and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Like it's, it's mad, bro. Like it's, you're you're basically training you're training your brain as yeah. like a gym workout. Do you know what I mean? So you, mm-hmm. your brain becomes powerful and stronger in, in that sense where you know how to just deal with stress, deal with anxiety, and put it to one side and deal See, with, and then and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. See, the thing is, I, I've been I've been trying to do that as well, listening to stuff on YouTube. Yeah, bro, I'm trying to shut off my mind and stop thinking. Exactly, but everything, the thing is, yeah, go on. Everything is that because we, we're constantly active. We're looking at our phone. We, we we're checking list emails, whatever. My yeah. head was still ticking. I said to myself, <laughs> "How am I? How am I going to turn it off?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that. But the guy goes sometimes. Let the thoughts come. Don't fight it too hard. Let it come. And when it comes, see when when, when those thoughts come, focus on your breathing. Focus on your breathing. Focus on how the breathing feels. You know what I mean? Feel, feel, feel what the breathing is doing to you. Yeah, yeah, and then when, yeah. you, when you do that, those thoughts, they become more on the background. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, just practice. Don't give up. Just keep practicing. Trust me. Mm. Just keep practicing. Yeah, I, I think I think for everyone in general, starting meditation seems a bit alien to you at first. But again, yeah. you know, it's a case of practice makes perfect and obviously you continue to do it and you, you reap the benefits of it. Yeah, and it was so funny because obviously coming to, like people think like you, people that you wouldn't think meditate meditate like man at like D double meditates. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so come, yeah. um, moving on to our next uh, program on E four. Um, I think it's on foot on is it is it on demand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four D. Yeah, four D. Yeah, um, there's a there's a, a mini series like each episode is about three minutes long or four minutes long and it's got it's, I think it's called rap therapy yeah and basically it's got um Conan it's got Kreps it's got D-Double it's got Miss Banks and I think there's someone else as well and basically like obviously Conan talks about his um stepdad being sh- being killed in the house and that's uh, when he, he made the track is it my story my story exactly yeah, yeah. and then Krep talks about cadet and grieving cadet's death and then Miss Banks because Miss Banks is tall in it and school she's always the tallest girl in school so she used to get bullied and cuss about it. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then D doubles this. <laughs> D doubles this coaching you how, on how to meditate. It's, it's, it's funny because it's D double, isn't it? And we're saying, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> it's <laughs> probably funny because it's his voice in it. Oh, oh, it's buku, buku, but the, but, but, that's what I can hear in it. And that's the thing. When I heard D doubles one, I said, "No, nah, no, nah, I had to turn it off straight away." <laughs> no, today, <laughs> Mom, I did it in yeah. class, bro. I had a, I had assembly today with my year group, yeah. and I just played the video. Is and it, it like bare people in the comments like so have I got to do this I was like yes stop stop, stop talking and just imagine <laughs> just think just go with it for a lot of them they did it obviously mm. some of them are like no nah, they're not on it but again like you said it's practice isn't it you just gotta mm. allow yeah. your mind to be open to these things it's not an idiot thing that like the you you man them it's not an idiot thing trust me it's not like the, we you know what we forget about our our spiritual well being so much all we care about is the flesh in it yes diet diet is important mm. yes um. Exercise is important. Yes, it's, it's very important. But the spiritual, the mindset is very, very important. That's that's the that's the spine. That's the spine to the whole unit, body unit. You know what I mean? So we have to keep that healthy as well. And by doing that, it's meditating. That's the best way to progress. I mean, even fasting. Mm-hmm. Fasting is a way of um, building up the spiritual side, your men- the mental state. Do you know what I mean? Because then you, you, you're not concentrating on your flesh no more. You're more concentrating on your body, on your soul, sorry. And you, you focus more meditating, more focus on prayer and whatnot, whatever you want to focus on. Because you, you, you're fasting, you forget about the, the materialistic things of life and the, the feeling the flesh, and you need to focus on the more spiritual side of yourself. So all those things there, man, it's, just, it's beneficial to us. Message. Yeah, definitely. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, no, no. And it reminds me, just I'm saying, I remember like when our brother Natty, like he went up, he went to the Amazon and he went into like the wilderness and that's what he was doing. Like you get me all them kind of yeah. stuff. He's meeting all the the, the the spiritual people and he was doing all that kind of stuff in the mountains and stuff. And it is very beneficial. And I always yeah. think it's good to have a positive mindset. You know what I mean? It's little things. Mm. Wake up in the morning, give thanks. And just, you get me for, for waking up that day and just... Also, I think it's certain energies. Just try and keep positive energies around you. Do you know what I mean? Mm, the yeah. negativity, you kind of got to score it, let it go. The amount of times that I want to put an email in capitals, some exclamation marks, and some bold. <laughs> and then certain times, you just got to breathe it out. You know what I mean? Just yeah, breathe it out. Trust like, me. Bro, is it really worth it? <laughs> there are some times when it is completely. And if you've got to send it, send it. You get me? But other times, just, just breathe it out, man. No, yeah. no. 
Definitely, definitely. But yeah, no, thanks for that, Kadol Kel, man. Yeah. Um, definitely, I'll, yeah, I'll check that Headspace Guide to Meditation stuff out. I think I might even send it to the kids and stuff, like, do you get me? That's yeah, it, yeah, man. no, it's good, man. Yeah. All right, wicked, man. But yeah, so it's National Children's Health Week, um, or Children's Mental Health Week. Um, last week, we spoke about two um, artists that were releasing projects. I call them projects, because again, I'm not sure if they're albums or mixtapes. We yeah. had Chip with Snakes and Ladders. And we have Fredo with is it Money Can't Buy Happiness. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. I know Merv didn't listen to any of them. <laughs> As he sips his tea, he was coming from yeah. sips getting his tea. Ready. I was getting ready to relax and listen, man. The thing is, I probably, I probably saw it show up on my Spotify as well. That's the thing about it. I'm no, sure no, no. I, saw, I, th- they I think I saw it. Yeah, yeah. Some of them were worth a listen. What did you think? Yeah, I, th- I think I think you would like shit, definitely. Rich, did you, you listen? listen to it? Or have you been busy? No, I didn't listen to Fredo. But I heard bits of Chip. But to be fair, I don't know. I didn't listen to Chip. I'm lying. I, I've just heard the stuff that is released. Great confession, boy. No, you, yeah. Just, you just basically heard the tracks that he's released. That's correct. Fair enough. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. All right, Kel, you did your homework. I did my homework. I did my homework. I enjoyed Chip's album. You know, I liked it. I liked it, man. You know what? Like, there's not one track I want to skip. Like, it was. It was a is nice. It? Yeah, I liked it, man. I, I liked it. it. Was for me, it was the way it was put together. It was nice. You built grime, a bit of hip hop. Then you got some little garage part to it. Then you got like a little singing, then a little hot, heartfelt rap. You know what I mean? Then nah, I liked it, bro. Do you know I what? I think yeah. it, was well, it was well put together in my in my view. I no, obviously it's Chip. He's Tottenham. I'm um, get me like Tottenham stand up. All of that. All of that. All of that. I. I it's not that I was happy or disappointed with the project. I think there were definitely better tracks on the project. I think the latter stages of the album or the, the project are really good. Yeah. There's a couple tracks on there that I thought were sick. I think even, oh, do you know what? There was a tune, the Eskimo dance one with, oh, this, yeah, 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 with yeah. the singer yeah. who yeah. kind of reminded me of the nail, but obviously wasn't the nail. Yeah. And I thought, rah, he like, he's bringing a man in. I don't know. Parker. I can't, I don't know how to say his surname. I don't want to say it wrong. You get me? Yeah. But, I thought, okay, cool. He seems like he's bringing in some kind of new talent. The second part of it, like I said, I enjoyed it. Style OG. There was tracks on there I thought was sick. But then there were other tracks what I thought were, I can only describe it as like weed music. Okay. And it doesn't make any sense. Do you get me? Because there's no such thing as weed music here. But it's this kind of music, a little bit auto tune ish, a little bit if you're high, like you can just kind of vibes with it. D-block Which Europe I think it sound, basically. D-block Europe sound like that kind of, and I don't know. I just feel maybe I'm a bit too bit too old for now, innit? Like I just feel like I don't know if I sound like my parents, but it's a little bit like, yeah, I can't listen to this for a long time. Like I don't like D. Mm. So yeah, I don't like D-block Europe in it. Like no disrespect to them, I just don't like it. No, you don't like their music. I don't like, like their music. Like, it's not them. Yeah, I don't like yeah. their sound, and their sound is very original. And I think Chips got bits of elements of that sound. Like even hearing Mostak on Drill. Mo's not really down for the drill thing, but I think the more I listen to it, I think I'll probably, it might be a bit of a grower, <clears throat> pause, yeah. and then like in a couple, like a month's time, I might get me. Yeah. yeah. I liked it. First listen, I liked it. Of yeah. Course, yeah. It but it was, it was good. Like the thing is, I have listened to it, like I've listened to it in the car while I'm driving. Like, do you know what I mean? I'm not skipping bear tracks. Like it's decent. What about the Fredo one? Fredo, just like you, he's 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 a he's a Queen's Park boy, avenues, you know what I mean, Mozart, all of that, all of that. So shut him up big time. But um it was mad short. That's what I feel it was mad short. And um well, how many tracks? tracks that, I can't remember. I think it's like oh, you, you talk 11, 11, I'm guessing 11, 12. Okay. Um it a lot of the tracks are the same. Quite a few of the tracks are the same. Um the first I, I prefer yeah, 11, the first 11. half, eleven, yeah. So I prefer the first half of the album. The second part, well, the second part, the, I think the last two tracks were a bit deep. It was, it was more, he's rapping more with his emotions, so I like those. But in, but in between, I kind of like just faded out. It wasn't 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 really my cup of tea. So the start of it and then the end part, I liked, but it's the middle. I didn't really, didn't really grab me. I yeah. definitely liked that intro track, which was the biggest mistake, where yeah, he yeah. kind of talks like his pain. He talks about him kind of growing up, and then like 
he can get him sent to country for a little bit. Then his mum brought him back. And was that the biggest mistake, bringing him back to the ends, like at 10? He didn't finish school. All that. It was that. It was heartfelt. It was deep. It was did, you hear that part? Did, you hear, did you hear that part in the verse? Because he was, in, he was in jail with Dave's older brother. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like, that was deep. I felt it. It was pain. Like, and I liked it. But again, maybe I'm a little bit older. Like, there's only so much I can hear about wrapping up and shotting and drug game and all of that. Like, it's, yeah. I think maybe I'm getting a bit old. But as a decent project, I think for a first, well, it's not even a first project. I guess for one of his first major projects, like, I thought it was all right. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't say any of the projects, Dave or Chips, were shit. Like, they're definitely worth a listen. Yeah, yeah. But again, it depends on where you are on your musical journey. Yeah, true. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah but yeah, Defo, shout out Chip. Shout out Fredo. The, going back to Chip slightly, yeah? I didn't like the Chip and Bugsy track, though. You know, I can't remember, you know. I, can't remember, I didn't like I can't it. it. I think that Bugsy and Chip track was better than the Chip and Bugsy track. Okay, I'll, I'll go back and listen to it. And Chip and Bugsy actually released the album, for, uh, uh, sorry, a video for it today. Oh, is oh, it? Is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. I'll listen to it afterwards. It might sound better with the video, I don't know. It might sound better the video. Don't go back on your word now, bruv. No, no, no. I said it with chess, bruv. I said it with chess. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right. Um, guys, obviously, I'm not, like I said, we've decided that we're not talking about the vid, the Rona, the vid, all of this kind of stuff in too no, much no. detail anymore, yeah? Yeah. But, so, prior to, around Christmas time, January, we had a lot of, quote, unquote, influencers, yeah, that were leaving our shores. Um, I don't know if you lot got the email like for the flight tickets, but I said I couldn't go because I got to work. Because obviously the influencers were going over there. Oh, see, I got see, my, see. I got my ticket. I hope you lot got yeah. yours as well. But yeah, obviously yeah, you yeah, chose yeah. to stay and do the podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dedication, yeah. dedication, yeah. dedication, yeah. Dedica- <laughs> dedicated to yeah. the cause. Because you know, like, what is we didn't want to do this in in Dubai and make people watch it and listen to it and feel bad and depressed. Yeah. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah. But a lot of the influencers went over to Dubai. And then as of, I think it was Saturday, Friday evening, Saturday, couldn't come home. Yeah. Um, Dubai has been now put in what they call part of the red, I don't know what it's called, the red countries, the red list or something along that line. Mm-hmm. So basically half of them people are, are stuck out there unless they come back to England via a different travel corridor. So I think they've got to fly from Dubai to, I don't know, another country where people, England are accepting um people to come from and they got to do that and also england are now going to be introducing i think from next week the 8th of february um mandatory quarantine hotels so if you come in you're going to have to go and stay in a hotel at your own cost from certain countries though if you're coming from certain countries countries. yeah but i think it's to be fair i think it should be open to all countries true well hold on At, at your own cost yeah at your own cost Okay, Maybe, interesting. Well, mm. I, I don't know, because if you think, if you look at Australia and New Zealand, that's what they've been doing from the beginning. Mm. So nationals, if they come over, they got to put them in a hotel and you got to pay for the hotel yourself. They'll come and deliver your food and all that kind of stuff. Mm. Obviously, it's England, so it may just be like a travel lodge or something. You get me? like, mm, mm. And it could be up to £1,500 that you're paying. <sighs> On top of the holiday you really paid for as well. You know? Yeah, 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 this, yeah, this is what I'm saying. But, but obviously they're doing this because people weren't quarantined. People are coming back from holidays, going ends, putting their bags down and just living their best life. But yeah, but it, 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 again, it, it makes sense. And and I always question like, how how are they even monitor people saying they've got a quarantine? How are they even monitor it? They mm. can't. Yeah, they can't, but now they can. But from, from yeah. the 8th. Like, yeah, so from the 8th of February. Well, yeah. Like, yeah, my family's away. When they come back, they have, to, they have to quarantine for 10 days. They can't go nowhere. You know what I mean? Because their phone will be monitored. Oh we, no! But do, what they have to do with their numbers and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but you yeah. just leave your phone at home, innit? That, well, that, that's, 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 what I'm saying, but that's what I'm saying. That's a loophole. No, right. we don't, we don't, we don't encourage that, people. We don't encourage that. Ne- never Believe encouraging. It. But can you see what I'm saying? And that's why. <laughs> and I know some people were giving them different numbers. Like we're giving them numbers for their trap phone. Like the trap phone could stay yeah. in the. You know what I mean? Them kind of things. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that, that numbers for the iPads. <laughs> so, so quick, quick thing. So, when um, your family come back into the country, do they have to be tested again? No, they, they, all they need to produce is a, a test certificate that they're negative, and that's it. Okay, and did they have to do it in Ghana? So, whatever country they're coming from, the day before, yeah. day before, take the test the day before. Yeah, the day before, seventy-two hours. Within seventy-two yeah. hours. Okay. 
And that's an added fee. Yes, added fee. I feel like 150 pound or something. Like that. Yeah, because you've, you've got to get it done privately. And also it has yeah. to be a PCR test, which are what they class as the gold standard test. They're the ones that have to get sent okay. off. It can't be the new ones, the lateral flow tests, which are the ones that you can get results in half an hour. Mm, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like the lateral flow ones are the ones like, for example, I do at work. So yeah. every week I'm at work, if I'm in the building, like I think I do it like once or twice a week. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, right. So you just do a little swab either side of your tonsils, the nostrils, and then put in the thing. But obviously, like, I, I, yeah, see, I, I'm always going to test negative because I can't test positive again for the time being. So, but I do it willingly. You know, it goes. <laughs> Unless South Africa. No, I think I don't, I think I even should be all right for the South Africa. Should be. I have the antibodies, but it looks good because mm. it comes every week. It comes up on your phone that like, you have tested negative, 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 negative. You know, like you just shut up. yeah, look, man, man's negative. You can't tell me. <laughs> <or no. laughs> don't tell me I can't come in your shop without uh, a mask. Man's immune. You get me? Saying, well, touch wood, guy. You know, what I mean, mm. that six days where yeah, standard. <laughs> just touch in wood. case, just touch in wood. case. Yeah. All right, but yeah, shout out to all them influencers in Dubai. To be fair, I, apart from the fact that they're probably going to have to spend more money on stuff like hotels and accommodation. In that sunshine, they probably don't care, to be honest. Exactly. Yeah. They probably don't care. There's there's probably worse places to stay in the world. Yeah, definitely. To be stuck. But, um, all right, guys. I need to do you that. Know, I, I want to know your kind of opinion. Like, I need to know what's going on. So, okay. Obviously, I'm a big man. I don't have TikTok. Okay? Let me put that out <laughs> there. I don't have TikTok. Yeah? <laughs> but, yeah? So, like, this whole craze of TikTok, and I think back in the day it was an app called Musically, and then there was this big massive um thing with Trump didn't want TikTok in America, they were stealing, mm. I, I don't know, whatever it is. Yeah. So there's been a few challenges. So, like say last summer, maybe spring, you had the don't rush challenge, the one that I thought Merv was gonna do last week when he like tapped the camera. Off. <laughs> it's like to save like, us like, what? <laughs> it's mad because like I was trying to explain to someone and I was like, you know that challenge where you go like that, you go like that, and they're like, Nathan, what the hell is that? And I'm like, no, you go like that, and then you change to like Nah, bro. I'm like, you oh, tapped the phone. And it was like, the don't rush. I was like, yeah, that's it. So we had like the don't rush challenge and everyone was jumping on that bandwagon. Yeah. All right. And then in the last maybe two, three weeks, we've had the bus it challenge. Yeah. Which you guys, I'm not going to explain to you. You know what the bus it challenge is. <laughs> All right. I have, no had... idea. I have no idea what you're talking about. Can you just go further? Sorry. Okay. Yeah, you so... to know, man. I, I've, I've been in the wilderness. All right. So. Um... <laughs> To be honest, I don't even know what the first song is. Like, it's a normal song, isn't it? Oh, it's um. Uh, anyway, there's a track. I can't remember what the track is called now. It's called Bust It. No, no, the second bit is Bust It. The first bit isn't Bust It. Oh, so no, it I is. Have... Uh, Nelly, the Nelly remix. It's yeah, so it's the right Nelly track. I don't think it's no, so. I've heard. It's... Sorry, my friend told me. Yeah, they're gone. <laughs> I think they're two separate tracks, though. They're not a remix. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So what you got to do is you got to mix the Nelly track in, and it looks something about. My ass getting big or sign, I can't remember the exact words, I don't quote me. And then you like you do this thing, and then you basically you go down and you start busting it. Like you bust it out, <laughs> like start flexing your legs and what have you. I know a lot you of people. You're not know, you know describing the thing, Rob. This is what my friend said. Yeah. Basically, okay, tell me what your friend said. So basically, yeah. Because <laughs> I never watched it. Yeah, so these these it's, it's similar to the um don't rush challenge. You know, don't rush, you're in normal garments or you, you just woke up, you your your pajamas or whatnot. Then you touch the screen and then you're looking all suave in it. That was a don't rush challenge. The bus it challenge is basically these females, they're looking, just come out of bed, looking rough, you know what I mean? And the she's like, I think my bus getting big. I think my bus getting big. And then they go I down. What you're doing. And then and then and then and then they're all dressed up, shaking that fang, you know what I mean? And that's what it is basically. Continue. Okay, because <laughs> I'm gonna lie, I, I, I yeah, yeah, yeah. So and obviously there's a track Bus It, which I think was a track that came out and no one was listening. Yeah, it's an old track. You know, I, I have to YouTube it. You know. The track's like eight months old. It's like yeah, it's Don't a... Rush. The Don't Rush track is old as well. And yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's mad. They're making money from it, you know. Mad yeah, money. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, cool. surprise, yeah. So you had the Bus It challenge, which again, like Twitter feeds and all the rest of it was going mad. You just find a little loop and then you just watch everyone's Bus It challenge. And then people going, oh, I can't do that. My knees, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. And then more recently, we've had the Silhouette challenge. Yeah. <laughs> And the silhouette challenge is, again, you go in there with like, you could be, like that like Kel said, run down clothes, just got out of bed, blah, blah. And you kind of go in a little bit of a doorway 
Yeah, you got to put your hand on the- And you got to put your hand off <laughs> from the doorway, like... <laughs> and then the light changes, the music goes a bit more seductive, the red light yeah. comes out, and then you just start... It's, it's better, you're basically you're showing your silhouette. Yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. But in a seductive manner. Yeah. Yeah? Okay, I'm not going to lie. I, I, For research purposes, obviously for the podcast... <laughs> Like oh, I, Richard put it in the pod that we're doing this section. Huh? So <laughs> yeah. obviously, had I, no I, I had no choice. no choice. I had no oh, choice. Yeah. I was scrolling down. I haven't saved any. I haven't stored any. That like they don't. I don't have a backlog or anything. But while okay, while I think the challenge is like okay, they're quite a bit of fun. Whatever, it's nice to watch. I mean, I was scrolling down there. I also did think like I got little like family members that are on TikTok and that. And I don't know if these challenges are on TikTok or you're just recording it on TikTok and putting it onto other kind of platforms, yeah? But you know, like, it's, I just feel like there almost needs to be like an adult TikTok that children can't access. Yeah. Like, I don't want my little sister trying to do silhouette challenges and all them foolishness, you know what I mean? That's the thing. That's the thing, man. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's mad as a man. You're like, yeah, you know what I mean? Because all of these people of age just watching it, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But you think like, no, but hold on. Like, are you going to have youngsters that are trying to do this foolishness? And especially because these youngsters now are indoors and got nothing better to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, this, yeah. This, this is the hype for them, isn't it? This, this is going to be their it's hype. Like, like, what are you doing upstairs in your room? Nothing. <laughs> but, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, can you imagine, like, you know them little bad youths. Oh, hey, hey, send me a silhouette challenge. You get me? Like, they're never sending nudes no more. Hey, send me a version of silhouette yeah, challenge. Yeah. <laughs> let me see you. Let me see a musket challenge, innit? And I will save that. What a foolish it is. And obviously, there are lots of remakes of the videos. So um, I've seen people like do silhouette challenges, and then like as they're about to do it, like I've seen like someone in the group, like the dad comes out with the belt and wants, you know I mean them kind of things. <laughs> and so there is a little bit of a comedy section to them, and I think some people are not taking them too seriously and it's, obviously it's a bit of fun I don't know what the next mm. challenge is do you know what I mean there's a walking one I know you, I know you should, the walking walk- one I don't know what it's called between, though between, between them walking it's like yeah I like that one I like that one that was fun like it just seemed a bit fun yeah but yeah um, are you here for the challenges do you watch the challenges or um, for no, research purposes some of them yeah do you know what the only time I see the challenges is when you send it into the group <laughs> and if you're like you know like <laughs> You know those like those what is it ban- banter and talent sort of pages? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. They they just watch me in it. Like I'm just scrolling down and I just always see it. I don't like it's it's one of them ones you scroll down. You're bound to see about a half. Oh, help. Yeah, they choose you, you can't then. help, bro. Yeah, that's right. It's the algorithm, bro. It's yeah. the algorithm. Yeah, the algorithm says a man like you should be watching this, and he puts <laughs> it on my feed. Yeah. Also, had you ever noticed that? Yeah, you know, like you can go on Instagram, and then like it might even be YouTube can do it as well. Then, like an hour later, you realize you're in the same place, ain't done shit. Like you're just sitting there scrolling. Just I hate it. Yeah. It's I hate a madness. It. I hate it. I'm like, you have to, you have to, you have to like, it's always you have to wake yourself up. Like, what are you doing? Like, do something productive. Yeah. What, are you, what are you doing, man? You're just scrolling for t- out just there. Like, and it's, oh, it's the, the mean ones, you know, it's the mean ones that get you all yeah, the time. All of that. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna shout out one that. person. I'm gonna shout out one person. Um, I'll put his thing in the group here. His name is Cerro Jones. Yeah, C E R O. Oh yeah, you always post this shit. You always post. Bruv, this stuff, yeah. his story has me crying on a daily basis, <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like to be fair, some things are clearly not his. Yeah, but he just puts his water lot. His like water yeah, on all yeah. of them. Like he even did. You know the um thing he did the Biggie COVID um last week or a couple weeks ago. Your cousin of Jason. Huh? Dream. 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 Yeah, dream. Dream, dream oh, okay. did the, yeah. like a biggie version of um COVID. Like oh, yeah, remixed yeah, yeah, yeah. the biggie. Yeah. Tr- so even that he slapped his water. I was like, no, that's not yours, boy. That's not yours. But consistent, bruv. He's consistent with the post, bruv. Consistent. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So some of them banter ones, yeah. I'm definitely here for it, man. Yeah. All right. Rich, about two, three months ago, I did my great reveal. <clears throat> I told yes. them, I told the world I was Nige. But I told you this, that's that's it, bro. Do it again, man. It's it's nonsense. No, no, no. I'm gonna do it again. I've got. I told you I can't, I couldn't do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because that that one like this, it's not the, my heritage one. Is it's too broad. It's too vague. Too, too vague. Ancestry.co.uk. <laughs> come like some rematch boxing, you know. Yeah, no. The thing <laughs> is, it's the light you can't see nothing. Hey, Rich. Yeah. Where are you from, bro? You know what, right? Well, where do you, where oh, do you, okay, where was you from before you did it? Uh, I was from Ghana. 
full mum dad Ghanaian 100% fully Ghanaian <laughs> and the thing is do you know what first of all ancestry I need to custom right this is this is two three months ago I did it before you even sent it yeah I remember you yeah. said yeah I, remember, I, remember. I sent it time yeah. ago and I was chasing them and they told me oh sorry we'll send you a new one then randomly I got an email saying it's been found so technically this might not be mine just saying. <laughs> and, just mine away. <laughs> and and the thing is, I've tried to wait for so long to like when I got it, and I thought I've got to wait, I've got to wait, I've got to wait. Then yesterday, I had to, I had to, I had to like literally, yeah, <laughs> check out the email. I had to check it out. Yeah. So, and I think with me, and I think oh, I love this. Just say the thing, man. It's one of it. No, but with a lot of Ghanaians, I think they get the similar results anyway. But anyway, so 65% has come back and said, I'm Benin and Togo, right? Okay. And a lot, a lot of people get Benin and Togo because the um, E-way, E-way people. That's my people, yeah. That's yeah, people, it, yeah. It, exactly. So I, I got, I've got 65%. 29% is Ivory Coast and Ghana. Yeah, okay, um, yeah. 4% is Nate's people. Niger? Mm-hmm. The Niger. And 2% Mali. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Money's not far. Money's just above us. It's not, no, no, when far. I said, no, no, I didn't say wow because yeah. of that. I meant, like, I think you're one of the first people on Ants that have done the thing that I know of that are 100% African. Oh. Oh, yeah, for real, you know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Really? On a level. Yeah. No, seriously. Bruv, I got, they've tried to put me with, like, I've got Asia and, like, the Baltics and... Oh, that, oh, no, that's bro. me. No, I've got the Baltics as well. You got Baltics? No, you got Scandinavia. No, I got sorry, not what's Portugal? I, I got like Iber- I, I, yeah, like, Iberian, yeah, yeah, Iberian, yeah, Iberian, Iberian, yeah. yeah. yeah so I'm straight, Af- straight African. Hey, I'm, my brother. Yeah, you know yeah, what? Let me, yeah, because let me, let me give you a quick history. Yeah, so obviously during those times, there's a lot of migration happening, with different ethnic groups migrating because originally, like the areas um, were originally from North Africa, North like Egypt and Sudan ends yeah. We migrated all the way down. Obviously, when we migrated, we settled in Nigeria for a period of time. And then we migrated and then, we, and then people dropped off. But the areas and the guns, we, we traveled together. So yeah. we, we settled in, 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 in Nigeria. So when you go to Nigeria, it's similar to Nigeria where the language is similar to our language, but it's different, you know what I mean? Then you go to mm. Benin, Togo. So Benin, Togo, they're the, the areas, but they're just like, um, it's just a different dialect. Because if the Europeans didn't come and divide us, Will be one people in it, yeah, and, the, and, the, and the east and the eastern part of Ghana as well, and the coast part of Ghana. So the, the, that's that's what we when we do a DNA test, it will show it will show those three countries because it, obviously the DNA is, is, is the same DNA as Togo, Benin, and the, and the eastern part of Ghana and the coastal part of Ghana is the same DNA. That's why it will show up those three those three and maybe, and maybe Nigeria as well because obviously we settled in Nigeria yeah. before we migrated to Ghana. And the thing was funny when I found out. Obviously, I had to do some mad research. I had to phone my dad, my yeah. uncle. I had to phone yeah. everyone, and they said, "What are you talking about?" They said, "No, we're from Ghana." I was like, "Listen, let me break it." Down. And they don't believe me. So obviously, <laughs> I've got to do some formal Zoom call extra and provide them the information and break it down. So but even, uh, but even the Ivory Coast and Ghana one. Obviously, like I said, if the Europeans had come and divide us. Yeah, that, yeah. Parts of Ivory Coast, it's the same people, all one people, man. It's just that. You know, and, yeah. and even what's funny, as soon as I um like went in and everything else, I had like forty three cousins. Yeah. <laughs> like third, fourth cousin, second cousin, and I got in loads of got loads of messages like, oh, we, we I think we're related. Like, where do you live? And you know, like I thought, raw. I said, I need to close this down. <laughs> <laughs> Because this is this, this is I require annual leave, yeah, Which from work. There was going to be some Western Union transfers. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know what it is? It's one of the ones that you know you need time to go through it and trying mm. to digest. Like wow, and there's like there's loads of people like Portuguese, like Portuguese surnames, male, female, and it's English surnames. So I was thinking, wow, oh, okay, I need to you know I really need to invest a lot of time in this. But yeah, it's. Yeah, it was good. It was a good reveal. Um, yeah, I think it, it definitely shocked me. Um, even though I knew about kind of Togo and Benin in a way, because a lot of people from Ghana tend to have that in a way, part of them. But I just, just to see it, just with your name on it, come back and it's like, boom. Yeah, man. So I'm fully African. 
Straight. Respect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get involved. No, big up, big up. Nah, no, sick. Kel, did you do yours? I did mine, but it's too vague. It's too vague. You don't, you don't want to do, you don't want to share with the nation. No, because no, all right, it's this sixteen. <laughs> all right, no, I see, I see. So it was sixty four percent Nigeria. Yeah. Oh, yo, get out of here, bro. Get out of here. No, 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 no. I that's thought what you said. were different. That's what it said, but obviously, but like, the, the Nigeria covered Benin, Togo, and the eastern part of Ghana. So it's like, mm. and also co- covered um, Cameroon, Mali, Niger. No, 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 not Mali, not Niger. Do you know what I mean? So it's like it's just too vague, and it's, mm. they had like sixteen. 0.5% West African. And the West African covered from, from Guinea all the way down to yeah, Ivory poor. Coast. That's poor. Yeah, and then and then um and then it said 10%, 10.5% um Sierra Leone, which that I kind of I kind of knew about that because I, I always my uncle told me that my mom's mom's side are originally from Sierra Leone, so that could be where it's from. And then it had like six percent Kenyan. I don't know where that's from, and then it had like Two percent Baltics, and then I think like one percent or two percent um, t- Turkish, some, something like that. Like, Turkish, nah, bro. Yeah, I was like, no, 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 no. This is this is this is wrong. It's it's too vague, man. It's too vague. Even the Kenyan one, it, it, it's surrounded Rwanda, all those eastern parts. You know what I mean? So it's like it's too vague. So who did you who did you go with? Um, my heritage. My heritage. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So no, I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm gonna do that. Assess you one definitely. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna do it. Like I said. I yeah. just gotta think of a day when I can put bare saliva in the bloody thing, but I'll do it. I feel a bit <laughs> left out, you know. I think I have to do this as well, you know. Yeah, just no, do I mean, it, man. Bro, do it, it, bro. Merv, you know what it's, it's, it's like? It's interesting, it's just, and that's why hmm. I think it's interesting because, like, obviously, you don't change nothing. You yeah. are who you are, innit? Yeah. But I think it was interesting for me, especially because, like, in my head, I'm Jamaican, innit? I'm Jamaican. Hmm. Yeah. So like Jamaica. Jamaica. Like, I, I tell people, you know, like, nah, man, I was in Jamaica before like everyone else came over. I was from the, the Maroons. You get me? We were there from the beginning. Like, I do all of that. You get me? Like nanny, all of them. Like I was there, but clearly, like I I, I did the I did the journey as There's well. Some sort of um, um Jamaican Captain America, yeah. Just yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. I thought <laughs> I was there. Like, I thought I was there, but like, uh, I, did you did you guys know that West Africa's traveled to the Caribbean the Americas before? Christopher Columbus. Are you guys aware of this? I'm not. I'm, I'm not, not surprised. surprised. I'm not, not surprised. surprised. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's documented. It's documented. Mm. The Mali Empire. We sell, and even when, and even when the um, Christopher Columbus went to um, the West Indies, when he first found the West Indies, they told him, "Oh, these like so there's, there's some spears with gold on it." And they're like, "Oh, these are from the, the people, people before you guys. They gave this to us as gifts. They're black and blah blah blah. It's all documented." But these things won't be taught. These things won't yeah, be... Yeah, of course not. Yeah, they won't be, you know what I mean? But I'll put in the group so you guys can watch. Yeah, definitely, man. Because yeah. obviously we know history is his story. Mm. Yeah, uh, and, I, and I think with these tests, right, I know I was I was initially against it, right? But with these tests, it, I think when the results go your way, then it's okay because then you can explore your family your family heritage. Um, and I think... And it, and it opens up the conversations with family and potentially meeting family that you never knew of or you know and they never knew of you and yeah. they and they probably thought they were all alone so you know with any of your connections rich did any of your connections were they actually family members that you knew of no nah, none of them okay so that's what i'm saying so with my one it actually connected with family members that i actually did know okay so like a couple of my like my like my dad's cousin or my mum's cousin who had done mm-hmm. it and it had showed that there was some form of um well, we had similar DNA. Oh, same. Yeah, but again, part of it is like I don't know. Is are you actually telling me that I have similar DNA to them, or oh, is it I because don't... I had to put in like my family tree bit part of it? So you're just kind of connecting the dots almost. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Be interesting. Like, would it, for example, if I did it and I didn't put any of like my parents' details in it, would it come up with the same connections? Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, it's interesting. I'm 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 going to do a bit more research, and um, k- k- trying to hear more stories from the family and see what they say. Brother, I'll be real with you. I think that is one of the greatest things ever to do, and I think even if it just opens up dialogue for you to have with your parents or grandparents or elders, mm-hmm. uncles, aunties, whatever, because I think originally we always things were always passed down generation by generation through 
mouth. I was going to say through word of mouth. I was going to say through oral, but that would have been a pause. Through word of mouth, yeah? yeah. So like it comes down from the people telling, get me, the story always goes on. Yeah. Now, even in Roots, like they talk about the fact that the elder in the village would tell them the story, the younger would listen to the story, they would repeat the story, vice versa, yeah? And I think that we've kind of lost that. Mm. We don't yeah. know, like, for example, how our parents or grandparents came to this country. Yeah, and all that kind yeah. of stuff. And if we don't know that story, we can't tell the next generation how it happens. And then before you yeah, know it, bro. we come like the Americans, like where we don't, you know what I mean? Like, you know, like the Americans, they're just American. They mm. don't know nothing. And obviously that's not their fault, but we get to that stage where we're like, oh yeah, we're just British. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, do, do you know what? Because I, I, I've got my mum, I started it last year, started doing a little blog, like a, a video camera mm. and start talking, just literally start talking about when she was born. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. She's done. She's, she's, she's only done about four or five blogs of it, right? But just obviously much more because she got me. She got a bit emotional because she was really, you know, when she was growing up, etc. But that's something. Even if not just hearing it, if you get, get your parents to record it or your yeah, yeah. uncles, just record it. This so so you get all the information. You can watch it and watch it over and over again. And I've, for I your think... kids as well, so, so your kids can watch it as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that is a good idea. You know? Yeah, because you gotta know. That's what I'm saying. We gotta know where we're from. Do you know what I mean, mm. that's what that's more. It's about you gotta know where you're from, and it's like even little things, like especially stuff like, like obviously, like my grandparents were stuck part of the whole Windrush generation. Mm. Yeah, like do you know the ones like I remember like talking to Jeanette's grand, um, my partner's granddad. Yeah, like God rest his soul, and he was talking to me about how stuff like when they came over and how like there was people were handing out flyers in Barbados mm. about like come to the mother country, help we'll build up the land after World War II and all that kind of stuff. And that's how they came over here. Mm. And do you know what I mean, those kind of things, I was like, rah, that's like a madness that I would never know. And I could obviously still pass it on to my children and them kind of things. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Um, my mum told me some mad story as well, like when she was young, she was like, um, she was like eight years old and she was like, and she was eating, right? And then one of her aunties, and uncle came because one of her aunties lived in Liberia, isn't it? I think he was doing some business in Liberia. And he came, he came and he saw my mom eating. And he goes, oh, I like the way you're eating. You know what? Come and teach your cousin how to eat in Liberia because she, she, she's not eating. And look at the way you're eating that food. Like, this, is what, this is what I mean. You have to come and teach her. Man just grabbed her, took her to Liberia. Well, four years later, she went to Liberia for four years. Well, but that's how it is in God. It's mm. bad, you know. <laughs> Man just took her and said, Yeah, I like you. Come, let's go. Took it, so my mom lived in the library for four years, eight till twelve, wow. and then came back when she was twelve. Yeah, that's, that's mad. mad. Yeah, mad. That's what I'm saying. Do you know what I mean all those kind of things we'll never ever yeah. kind of know about? Do you know what I mean mm. we're in we're in this yeah, and, child, child protection uh, world where everything yeah, happens? Yeah, and, and that's another thing. Like for like my parents, right? When obviously when they pass, and when my uncles and that pass, because obviously I. Well, obviously from from Ghana and there's traditional when you pass away the traditional funerals how it's how we do stuff right mm -hmm. once my once my parents go my uncles and probably my first cousins I don't know that that process mm -hmm. so yeah. uh, and you know and it's like I was saying last week you know we used to go to um Ghana parties there was a standard process what our parents used to do. Mm. Um, there was like the standard you mean, meeting. Tra tradition. You mean tra yeah, tradition. Traditions. What did I yeah. say? What did I say? Process. Oh, you oh, say sorry, process. Sorry, sorry. tradition. Yeah, yeah. tradition. Mm. Just like there was, um, when, the, when the Africans first came to the UK, they had the East Enders, they had their little meeting communities. Mm -hmm. They yeah. had all that kind of stuff. Mm. And obviously we don't have that anymore. We just, we just yeah, don't have well, that because, you know. Nah, not at all. Yeah, so we, it's on WhatsApp, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's it. It's all WhatsApp. <laughs> so we, we, we've automatically lost that connection because when they first came to the country, they had to stick together because that's 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 because all they had, isn't it? You know, yeah. we, you speak the same language. We know English is our second language. And like, for me, it's a case of gaining knowledge on how to do things traditionally when a child is born, when there's a funeral, um, how we do it, not just the English way, but African exactly. way as well. Exactly, yeah, 100%. You, you know what else has done? Do you know what else has happened? Why that we don't know that as much is because I think when our grandparents or parents came over here, one of the important things they did is they wanted to integrate into society. Mm. They didn't want any of us to feel different. So they integrated mm. within the British yeah. society and British yeah. culture. And by integrating, which is nothing wrong with, they lost a part of their culture. 
Yeah. They lost a part of that kind of culture. And then you see it, like you have certain communities where you see, rah, them men are strong, like they're always together, they're united. And all it is, is that they integrated less. So they had their, mm. still had their own communities within the wider community mm. where we, our parents, grandparents, I think what they did is they integrated into the community mm-hmm. yeah. without mm-hmm. still mm-hmm. having, and I think maybe they did maintain that community originally, but we kind of was like, okay, yeah, we're normal. Everyone is everyone like this. Do you get me? Like, let's mm. just live life. Yeah. As opposed to stick into that kind of community feel. And I don't know. I don't know if we're going to be richer for it or poorer for it, but it is definitely something that I would definitely like to be able to pass on to the next generation. Even things like languages, man, it's like, I don't even know how to speak Patois. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and that's the, like you said with the integration, it's like, let's just fit in and we don't need to speak Patois here because it's an English speaking country. Mm. But because yeah. if you was, if we was, I think if my mom and dad were to go back, they would have taught us how to speak it. Like, and I would have taught my children how to speak it. Yeah. To like, just keep it going on, isn't it? And I think it's good. Like, even the fact that like your parents are back home, like, I think mm. for me, this would be like an excuse that like, you know, like every summer, the kids yeah. are getting sent over there. Like, I, was, and, I was ready to do that last year, you know, and it's like, look where we are. <laughs> do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I know. Yeah. But you know what it is? It's that, it's that thing. Mm. Like, it's like, I would love to be able to like, if like my grandparents have gone back to Jamaica or whatever, mm. love to be able to send the kids over there every summer. So you get to have that, you have an inkling of a feeling because I almost feel like when that generation goes, Mm. Like as much as I might have, they might have land or houses over there. I don't know no one over there like that. That's what, me. That's they have ex- distant cousins and that. Like I don't really know. That's exactly you. what I'm thinking. Like if my like aunts or uncle um, parents or aunts uncles pass away, it's like us. Our generation left. We all live here, vacant houses there. And it's like you have to, you have to maintain it because if you like, if we don't go back there, then we're we're lost basically. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. we have to keep doing it. Like so. Um, it's mad, man. Uh, yeah, on the mm. back of that, and and this is the thing, right? We always give an excuse. I'm too busy, right? Or I haven't got time to go, or it's the money. But if you wanted to go and get something, you would go and get it, you know. But and I think it's it's just we have to force each other, you know, to say like, you know, this is heritage. This is what this is where we come from. You have to take the initiative to go to go places back home and you know property yeah. etc you know and limited annual leave yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah no but that's, that's yeah, but that's like saying, yeah. if you can send people over there or whatever i just think definitely i think it's time for us to kind of touch mm. in like mm. i can't wait for you man to be saying yo nate we're going over to ghana you come in i'm there bro you know the ones there and vice versa bro mm. yeah, yeah for real. but let's do this man do you get me and obviously i can't take you up to nigeria yet because i don't know that my nigerian yeah. side yet but <laughs> Also, I don't really want to go over there. I'm a bit shocked. <laughs> no, that's no, cool, no, no, cool, man. That's just cool, man. That's just cool. Okay. <laughs> okay. Shout out to my Nigerian brothers and sisters, 419ers. But yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> I'm a gas man. I'm an idiot. Don't listen to me. All right. All right. So this week, we also had, while well, it had its high points and its low points, a right, couple of low points. We had a couple of RIPs. Well, not even more than a couple this week, to be honest. Um, we had Cicely Tyson, okay, who died at the age Legend. of 90-something. Wow. Yeah. I think it like seven yeah. or 98. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Someone got on them lads. She was, yeah. she was a grown She lived. Man. She lived, man. She's grown, she grown. She's grown. She looked good, you know, for her age, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely, yeah. man. Get me Cicely Tyson. Get me RIP. Um, we had Samuel Mensah. And I know this was like... Someone that's a bit he's young, he's young as well. He's close to our age. Yeah. 30, yeah, close to 30, our age. 30, 37, 37. Mm. 37. Yeah. yeah. Like me, I I knew Samuel well when obviously when because he used to be in grime, right? He used to make music as well. He used to be an MC artist. Is he from East? Yeah, it's from East London. Yeah. Okay. So but near Barking, Barking area. Okay. Titchery. Um, so like and when I when I started getting into the game and making beats, and obviously when you make music or do whatever you do, you meet people who are also doing the same thing. And I, and I think because he was from Ghana, it was like, hey, Chale, let's roll. <laughs> and it, it, it was it was simple as that. And do you know what? Me and him used to roll. I think I think it was about a good three three four years. We used to roll just just bus joke normal. You know he's um. Like he used to say, oh, I need to go and work in my dad's shop. I just said, bro, allow. Why are you going to work in dad's bakery? I used to always send for. I said, you're going to your dad's bakery. 
it's bread, bro. I to always send, always always send for him. And he goes to me, oh, one day you'll pay off. Um, but yeah, do you know what? When the news hit me, I saw it. I saw it online. And I didn't want to believe it. And I went to sleep. Right, but I couldn't sleep. Right. Then I woke up, I think it was about five in the morning. Then I, I messaged one of his one of his close boys that he used to roll with him. He lives right lives near him. And I messaged him, I said, Yeah, like, what are you saying? And he said, Yeah, it's true. And I was just like, Phew. and that one hit me differently because I only saw him four years ago. So obviously everyone grows up, right? And yeah. work and everything else, family, etc. So you no longer see each other anymore. But when I saw him, he's one of the guys that you don't have to see him. Four years later, I mean, five years later, 10 years later, you see him. It's like not, It's like you saw each other the other day. You could you talk forever, bus joke, the normal, you know? And, and the last memory of him, because I saw him in Stratford, we were catching up, laughing, busing joke, we were the kids. And yeah, man, you know, and I think, you know, it's just like, I just can't believe it. You know, we just, and this is even, and obviously it was due to the current circumstances, what's happening in the pandemic. Um, and it was just like, I just, I just, just didn't get it. He was fit, healthy young man, you know? Yeah, 37, that's, 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 you're still young, you're still healthy. And yeah. um, after that, um, I think we, we spoke to a couple of his friends. There was a Zoom call and and just and I didn't know I didn't know anyone I didn't know anyone on it but they were all from school and and from from what they remember of him is exactly how I remember him mm. you know he stayed the same he stayed humble he loved his fashion loved his you know he just it was just the same person that I remember when I used to be heavily into the game and music and stuff like that I didn't, I didn't know D-Doc was his brother you know I, I didn't know D-Doc so oh you know D-Doc, D-Doc? Yeah, yeah, yeah but obviously because the, the, what, Channel U days, do you know what I mean? The, oh, yeah, ex, yeah, yeah. Exploda, D-Dark. I mean, we used to cross paths and stuff, do you know what I mean? But I didn't know that. I didn't, I didn't know they were brothers. I didn't know Exploda and D-Dark were, were brothers, you know what I mean? Until this happened. And I saw him speaking off um, Instagram saying, but I was like, well, oh, I didn't even know that. There used to be those weird sounds in it. When they yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, no. Because at first, I didn't. Yeah. I said, wow, how come he's so tall? I was like, why is he so tall? And you're yeah. so short like that. <laughs> Um, but it, it, it is what it is. Um, yeah. But yeah, yeah, it's, it's it's sad, man. It's still it's still one of those ones that I still got a phone, I got a phone call today about it, and I thought I never want to talk about it anymore. T- you know, it's, it is it is it is it's sad. But yeah, oh, definitely, man. Rest in peace. Yeah, rest in peace. And I know his. And I know his bake is down in. Tottenham again, it's West Green Road and it's the West Green Road area. Yeah. So, so yeah, that was the big off. Yeah, man. But um, yeah, again, so even going from that, we had another. This one, I don't know. I don't know, man. Like it's a it's, it's a weird one. It hit us differently, because I think probably because of our age. One that was Dustin Diamond, yeah. aka Screech. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know, like I know growing up, Saved by the Bell was my show, bro. You get me? Trust Zach, me, that was my show. Zach Kelly, AC Slater, like, they get me? Lisa Turtle. Turtle. Lisa Turtle. And Lisa Jeez. Screech. I always remember Lisa Screech. I know, like, later in the latter years, like, Screech, he went on and did, like, some adult entertainment and all the rest of it. Mm-hmm. But, like, I don't know, like, he felt like he was a big part of I didn't even know that. I never know that. Yeah, I only found out these things like a couple like after he's passing, you know. Like, was it? Yeah. What do you mean yeah. adult? What's adult, what's adult entertainment? Like, he had a bit. He had a bit of a troubled life after, like yeah, yeah, yeah. like yeah, because um, even like with all the um reunions and the Saved by the Bell film and all that stuff, mm-hmm. like he wasn't involved in it um as well, isn't it? and um and the other one, what's the name? The one that plays Lisa. Um. Oh, she, uh, she Lock. Lock. Yeah. Horses. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, there's like a lot of a lot of things that were happening between them because they they were never sort of called back to do anything. But um, no, but as yeah, going as you were saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So mm. when you said adult entertainment, which it was, you know, it was adult entertainment, the stuff <laughs> put the same letter three times in. Yeah. yeah the letter right. before. Okay, I'm, yeah. I'm a bit surprised by that, but yeah. No, yo, even what's the name did it as well? China, do you remember? Yeah, I from saw wrestling, it. a night in I China. Saw, I saw it. Yeah, sorry, anyway, but a screech, you get me, like, no, nah, it was, that get me, I, it was, 
like I said, I don't know. I, I enjoyed Stay for the Bell. And it kind of, to be fair, that's a programme I would watch again if they pulled that up We're on back, Netflix yeah. or something. Do you know what I mean? And they have, they have got um, the the recent series out now as well. Oh, is but it? Yeah, it's just, but they're just not in it. Like It's, it's all the other, the other four, but um, yeah, it's, uh, Dustin and Lark's not in it. Okay, because sometimes yeah. I remember they had Saved by the Bell. Then they had Saved by the Bell, like when they went to go... The college uh, years. The college years. Yeah, yeah. and they had like, the one... They, yeah, they when they go the to kids. work in the summer and all that, yeah, and then they had like, yeah. then they had like a new batch that came through and all the rest of it. Yeah, but they've, they've got they've got a recent one now. I think it's the a new generation, but the original actors are still in it as well. Okay, yeah. and it's apparently it's quite good, you know. But I never, I never heard of it. Mm. Is it the one the way like Kelly's the mum and stuff like that, and she's she's got children and her children and stuff like that now. Ke- Kelly, Kelly's the one that used to go out with Zach. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I haven't, I, know, I haven't seen it, but I heard. Oh, okay. Yeah. I remember, and then, and Jesse, Jesse also went and did, what's that adult film where she had to be a stripper? Oh, oh, Striptease. Oh, yeah, yeah, Striptease, yeah. Striptease, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And she did that yeah. mad thing where she was trying to like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I that, was a bit, that was a bit traumatizing, man. I didn't know what to think, man. Was like, <laughs> it, was, it was like one of the things like, it was I like supposed this, to be sexy. but it's wrong. Yeah, like... it was just like, I don't know, it's weird. And I know I, I, I liked it. But see, it's like seeing Bungo from Rainbow doing something like that. It's wrong, bro. It's wrong. Yeah. And <laughs> AC Slater, what was AC? AC Bungle, Slater yeah. went and did like when AC Slater a host on a lot of TV shows and that dance show. Was it a yeah. dance? Yeah, that's with yeah. dance. I can't remember his name. Yeah. Was his actual name? But I remember. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's done quite a bit, though, isn't it? Still. Mm. But, but you know, think... by the bell, just gives me happy memories. Yeah. Oh, that's oh yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. It, it was quite sad because he, he said he died of um, stage four cancer. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's quite. It's like a. Is it like a month later he died yeah, or something? It's, like it's quick. Yeah. I don't think he Great, knew he had it. Lung, yeah, yeah, lung cancer. I don't think he, he knew had. he had it, and then yeah. by the time he knew it, was stage four. And do you know what I mean, I know family members that have, once they hit stage four, it's kind of like yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. Because it's that's scary, man. Do, do, do you know yeah. what it is? You know when you feel little pains and you think little pains are nothing. And obviously, you don't want to get too paranoid. It's just, you feel pain for like a couple of weeks, then it goes, and you think nothing goes. A couple of weeks? <laughs> if you feel no. it for a couple of weeks, you check it out, mate. No, no, it, it depends. Oh, okay, all right. No, I know what you mean, though. I know what you but mean. You know, I mean, little, little, it's little. Like an irritant. Mix. It's almost an irritant. And then you think, oh, it's gone. I haven't felt it for time. And you, then you find out and you collapse and you think, oh, I've got, I've got cancer. Okay, cool. I've got cancer. But then you tell you stage four, you think, huh? Game you know, over. He must have like I don't know. That would probably would have shut him down like mentally. That would just would have messed you up massively. And he was, to my knowledge, he was young. I swear, he was like forty four. Forty four, yeah, yeah, yeah forty four. Forty four. That's not far from mm. man like Mike and that. You know what I mean? So like, it's, <laughs> it's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's 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 definitely definitely sad. And it's definitely that's for me. That's part of our childhood. You get me? Mm. Growing up yeah, and yeah, growing yeah. up. Oh, yeah, man. And yeah, we can do about them programs another day. We'll go back and reminisce mm. on some of those kind of programs. Um, and today, the day of the pod, 2nd of February, 2021, Captain Sir Tom Moore, mm. right? And little fact, Captain outranks Sir. So even though he got a knighthood, Captain is actually higher than Sir. That's why he's now Captain Sir Tom Moore and not Sir Captain okay. Tom Moore. Oh. Yeah. So he died at the age of 100? Was he yeah. 100? 101? Yeah. Something like that? 100. <sighs> And obviously, he came to kind of um, notoriety. Everyone got to know him because he was doing that walk around the garden thing where he was raising money for the NHS last year. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I know he died, and then like I think within the hour, the Queen and the Prime Minister had kind of released statements and stuff like that. So yeah, and, and, and he, he died of COVID, right? Yeah, he died of COVID. COVID, yeah, yeah. It was a little bit. And I guess I, th- I think I kind of knew that was the way it was going because yesterday he was saying like, "Oh, his family are with him," and I was thinking, "Bro, your family not allowed to be with you, bro. It's like, how does that happen? No one else can do that." But I mean, don't worry about it. Who am I talking to? It's just me myself. But R.I.P. Okay. He, 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 he's a nation's favorite, isn't he? Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. R.I.P. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it is what it, like it's yeah. Because I think there were some of them people like, "Oh, how come he didn't get his vaccination yet? He's over 100. Like he should have got it." But the vaccination wouldn't have stopped it anyway. No, nah, the Rona, bruv, there's, there's no prejudice in the Rona, boy. Mm. It just does what it does. But mm. yeah, RIP them man there and yeah. them people. So RIP with the most res- utmost respect. I'm not trying to like belittle them man there or whatever. But yeah, respect um, Yeah, to all their family members and those that are going to miss them. Do you get me? Like, yeah, mm. RIP man, rest in peace. Mm. Definitely. 
All right, guys. Films and TVs. The juicy part of the pod. <laughs> okay. At the moment, we've been serializing. Oh, actually, sorry. Before I go into that, do apologize. Um, boys, I don't know if you lot have seen any notifications just pop up. But yeah, Man- Jeff. Manchester United just beat Southampton nine goals to nil, bruv. Huh? Nine, nine goals? Nine goals to nil, bruv. And Southampton got two men sent off as well. So but, I don't know what's going on. You know, they got beat last season 9-1 or something like that, innit? Yeah, and I think last the last time Manchester United, I think they beat Southampton 9-0. That was their highest result before as well. Oh my God, I think Leicester Christ. got one last season. I think Leicester, yeah, Leicester, some... Leicester beat them 9-1 last season. Yeah. yeah. So kind of illegal, what kind of illegal scores are these, man? Like, doing the someone to stop the game? <laughs> like, Bruv, come on, once like, it gets past six If or this something. was FIFA, like, we go 6 0 whitewash, and then you lock off the game <laughs> and you start again. If, if you give a man 6 0, you lock off the game, that's it. That no, does that stop. really happen? Like, I'm a bit ignorant in it. Does that, yeah, no, 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 no. What do you mean? Oh, no, it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. What, 6 0 whitewash? No, or not in real football. I'm talking about oh, okay. in FIFA. Yeah, it does in FIFA. No, he's, no, oh, no, Merv's talking football. about real football. Oh, no, no, same. Okay, okay, okay. In FIFA, it happens. In real life, it doesn't happen. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> but yeah, all right, cool. Let me just keep it moving. But anyway, oh, I've got Fernandez, sorry, two assists, one goal. Thank you very much. Captain this week because I, I had to give it. I, I had to get rid of a Bamiyan. Anyway, so. <laughs> all right. I um, One Division. Yeah. So One Division came out this week. Someone was wrong, boy. All the way wrong. No names. <laughs> Who's that? No names. <laughs> wrong, guys. It was just an opinion. What, what did you think it was? Mm. No, no, I knew what it was. Strong, you know, it was strong nah, as well. He's like, no, no, no. I think, no, no. I reckon. She has now, no hold on. control. To be fair, though, to be no fair, control. to be fair, she's in a coma. To be fair, we still don't know nothing. Yeah. Oh. Come on. Come no, 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 no. We still don't Monica, know nothing. Monica said it. Monica Ram- Rambu said it because it's wonder. <laughs> she controls it all. No, no, no. She said it's wonder. She doesn't know. She said it's wonder. No, she said control. Yeah. yeah. Because it was. She wonder. Goes, yeah. She goes, she, yeah, yeah, because remember. Wonder. She controls no, it all. Then it ends. No, but they, yeah, that's because you remember she went there. She didn't know who it was. She got sucked into it. And then she's letting them know it was Wanda. She don't know that they oh, know everything. Bro, you, bro, you saw from the start, it's Wanda, man. What are you trying it for? Bro, it's bro. Wanda, dude. It's Wanda, bro. I don't know who you're trying... Why are you trying I to... I know. Why are you trying to battle it? No, no, bro. Guys, none of you know for definite. I know. Oh, you Come don't, on. Merv. You think you know. I have That's insiders. Rich. Rich. And you they call me Merv. Know. All right, Merv. Yeah. <laughs> As oh, a yeah. man of reason, yeah? What did you think of the episode? Well, I think I think it was bloody amazing, man. But but I I do think that yeah, as we were saying last week, it is Wonder that's controlling everything, and and this yeah, this sword team are monitoring that. Isn't it? So, but I, I think it, yeah, it is her that's controlling everything. And you know what? You know as well. You know, like a lot of people have complained about the first three episodes just being a bit like of a slow burner. No, that's but, that's the, the silly. I think I, I'm so glad they've done that. You know that because yeah. I think for a moment I was so detached from the MCU. Even though you're seeing Wanda and Vision, mm-hmm. like these characters that you know are from MCU, but they're just so out of out of character what they what we're used to seeing. That for a moment I thought this is a really nice comedy program with little hints of something wrong here. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. And and you know what as well, it's the it's the opening for this episode. I just thought, oh my gosh, I'm proper back into the MCU because at first I was like, what's this bitty stuff happening on this woman's face? Yeah. But realizing that you've never seen the snap or the blip. blip. The, yeah, like you've never seen it in that, like it wasn't like that in Spider-Man or even Endgame, like mm. when they all came back. So it's it's kind of showing it from the reverse moment, isn't it? And then Obviously, you're seeing the whole calamity of it when everyone's bumping into each other in the hospital and all that stuff. Because, like, with Spider-Man Far From Home, they made it a bit comedic, didn't they? They didn't do it as serious. But in yeah. this one, it's like, oh, my gosh, my mum's been dead for, like, three years. Do you know what I mean? It's deep. Bro, like, it's too deep. It's too... Yeah. As soon as I saw that happening, I said, these guys have taken it to the levels. Yeah. yeah. And it's such a it's such a brave move because... We're talking like a five-year jump from the MCU, and it's like a lot can happen in that. You know, you've got mm. deaths, like people going older, like what's her name, Cassie, um, Ant Man's daughter, mm. and stuff. So yeah. a lot has changed, man. But they, yeah, it, that's what I'm saying. It just brought me 
straight back into this um, MCU. Because when you think about it, this is the first MCU series yeah. that is properly connected. We're not talking about Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And yeah, me is the, Yeah, this is like, and even from the music of the Ident, the, like the, dun, 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 like I'm thinking, no, this is, this is like a film, but just in short doses. So I was, I was, um, I was well happy about that, man. And it's and it's nice to see that continuity with um, Monica obviously being, what's um, her name? What's her mum's name again? Good, you know, um, daughter. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah, daughter, yeah, like, yeah. 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 That that was really? just. It, it, you know, I had to. I had to, when I saw that, and I thought I had to go and look at some preview. Hmm. And I and I was and I was watching. I was watching some quick thing about Captain Marvel, and I clocked yeah. it all from there. And I thought, okay, that's 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 how deep it's going. That's yeah. how deep it's going. No, it's, it's, it's big, man. No, so, I'm 110% here for it. Like, I think WandaVision's sick. Like I, like I said, and the thing is, it's funny because it comes out on Friday, obviously. Yeah. Same day as the podcast. Yeah. But I don't watch it on Friday. Like, I proper save it's like a Sunday. That's what I do. <laughs> I, I do exactly. No, I, 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 I save it's a Sunday, Sunday bro. Straight. And I'm in yeah. the zone. Like, you get me? Like, everyone's sleeping. Like, I just, I got, look, the house is quiet. I watch it and I'm like, what? Like, literally, this time I was too excited. I just, I just wish it was longer. I just wish it was a bit longer. That's all. And no, I, 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 I know what is. I wish that too, but I think it's perfect. No, it is. Yeah, it is. And, and you know, it's perfect as well, even though it might have been done accidentally. But I like the fact that we didn't have any MCU TV or film for that whole year. So we had a nice yeah. long year. Break, so it's just yeah. like you're more excited to watch it now, isn't it? And I love the fact that we started to see, like I said, for this episode, we started to see people coming in from the MCU into the program. Yeah. 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 Like, um, uh, do you know what? The baddest thing is, I don't remember her name. Darcy. From four. She's Darcy. from four. Yeah. yeah. Like, Darcy. I like the fact that she's in it now. Yeah. Yeah. Because she's the one of the. Her chemistry with um, the FBI guy, yeah. Ant Man, yes. yeah. 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 like they could yeah. almost have their own program. They they could yeah. almost yeah. have yeah. their yeah. own yeah. spin off. Yeah, blatantly. <laughs> like they it's could have fine, their own spin off. I think, like I said, yeah. I think it did. It, yeah, it definitely works. The chemistry works. Um, I used to watch her in a program on E4. I can't remember what the program. Yeah, was. Um, um, that two girls in a pizza place or something. Yeah, that, uh, yeah, not that's two girls in a pizza place. That it's, was the, the one with two guys. Oh, Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. Um. I know what you mean, though. And yeah. they had to, I know they, what you mean. I used to watch it as well. I used to watch it as well. They used to yeah. like a bakery or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. She's looking all right still in this one, still. But, I mean, no, she's I, always yeah. looked all right. She's always looked all right, man. Hey, did you clock um, the, the agent who was, he was the guy who was from Ant-Man, he yeah. kept on playing with cards, doing magic tricks. Yeah, that's what from the old, that's what Ant-Man, isn't it? Yeah, he, he, was, he, was, he was learning stuff in Ant-Man. Obviously, yeah. throughout the years, he's obviously... Mastered it. He mastered this yeah. little... Little, little, this little tool. tricks, yeah. But if, what I liked about this episode as well, especially it's like because all the things that we saw in the first three episodes that we didn't quite know what was going on, like, and we spoke about the fact, like, no, but the radio sounds like she's talking to someone, saying something to her, and yeah. then we actually see it and we can mm. see where it's happening. And like the fact she's like, Oh, can I have a TV? Not the flat one, like, you know, she wants to yeah, be yeah, 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 like, she's yeah. invested in the program and all of that. You're yeah. just like, This is so serious, yeah. And I, I like I like the fact that um you see like when we saw that helicopter yes and it was just randomly yeah. like red but that was actually the drone but it's like when they when those little items go into that world they they kind of turn a bit retro in it like even yeah, the man yeah. um the man that had the biohazard suit on he came up as a beekeeper, a bee, bee, yeah, beekeeper. Bee, yeah. yeah so yeah, it's like yeah. it's mad so and, and, and the, be some and the mysterious, build yeah. Yeah, the, the build of the rope was um it changed like a like a I don't know, a yeah. toy kind of thing. Yeah, like, yeah, sort of, sort of skipping rope kind of like that. Yeah. yeah. Wait, what happened to the beekeeper man? I don't he know. Went, he went back in, didn't he? he just because, like, yeah, but I, you know, like, because I'm thinking the cord broke. So he uh, can he find his way back home? Uh, I'm yeah, sure he can. Yeah. I'm sure he can. But yeah, I don't know what happened to him. He just okay, cool. Do you know, like yeah. in my head, I was like, did I miss something? Mm. Nah, you know, yeah. And this episode was a bit creepy, man. Like even when they showed Vision and he was dead, like he's he's corpse, isn't it? Like, mm. yeah. and a lot of people have been saying. What if she's actually using Vision's real dead body and just putting an illusion on him to make it look like he's alive? That's what she's doing. And that's what she's doing. That's probably messed I don't up, know man. if she is doing that. I don't, I don't know if she's doing that. That's a bit like I it's mean, a good real, theory, but I'm but telling you, but I'm I don't te- know. anyway, you're not gonna see like you're gonna be like, 
Oh, you know what, Nate? I, you were wrong, but there were parts of it that were right. No, but still going wrong and strong, you know. <laughs> wrong and strong, bro. But um, or she's she's making people imaginally see vision. She could be. I no man, she's vision, powerful. No, like, vision, you know, people don't wonder. Vision's there, powerful. bro. Because vision's there. Because you can see in vision that he's starting to realize that things are not right. Yeah, he was. Vision's, vision's dead. He's not there. What do you so mean? How he's can, there? So how can vision be seeing that the things are not right? He's seeing things. She's that she's manifesting vision. No, but you wouldn't manifest somebody him. to know that something's no, wrong. No, but but like what Nate's. I agree with Nate. I agree with Nate because he's working. Right. He he's clocking stuff, but does it make sense to him? Mm. He's so though he's dead. It might no, be I some hear... sort of subconscious, like yeah, I hear he's dead, and but he... you remember they are united, and it's also connected to the mind. How are they the united? What are you in the, about? the mind stone, the mind stone's gone, but destroyed. Wait, wait, it's, it's gone. Got sent, got sent it, back bro? to the past. Boom. No, no the because remember, no, kept sending it back there. to the past, so it's not destroyed. Yeah, in another. Yeah, it's probably just remember all the stones went back. Yeah, yeah, but visuals visuals were made then. He wasn't alive. Doesn't matter. You know vision. I mean? Remember, he's part of the stone. Vision. Remember, vision is part of everyone. He's part of the stone. He's part of Jarvis. He's part of like um, Captain America, not Captain America, Iron Man, and Hulk. All of them. Wait, 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 what's he <laughs> getting? <laughs> Where you get this from, bro? <laughs> no, did you, no, sorry. Oh, sorry. That's, okay. That's okay. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Like it's, a, it's a cocktail, you know. No, one second. In the summer. No, just said summer. I'm a chat shit. Over Christmas, did I not watch all the MCU films again? I don't care. You're wrong, bro. Okay, I tell you what. What, what, what do you mean the cocktail right. who? The Hulk. Okay, when I watched the video, all right, watch. You know what? I bet <laughs> no. you twenty pound. No, wait, wait. Live on air. Bet you twenty pound. I bet you twenty pound. All right, cool. Bet you twenty pound. I'll send my bank details. I'll so, send. Uh, I will record so, uh, the give, episode. Give, give me the give the list again. Give the list. So is it what? Is it I said Iron Jarvis. Man? Jarvis. Yeah. Iron Man. Yeah. Um, the yeah. the stone. And hope, yeah. All of them were a part of it, bro. It was yeah, it's think, on, it's on the right. episode. I, I think that's right. He talks, he says uh, it to bro. them. Jarvis, bro, I'm telling you. No, so <laughs> he says it. Ultron, Ultron made him. Yeah, and he says through the what, stone. What do you and see? I'll show you the episode. Right. I'll show you the episode, bro. I, w- bro, I wouldn't say beat like this so so passionately if man didn't watch the episodes, bro. I've watched all, right, all of them. Cool. All right, cool, cool. <laughs> <laughs> right. And I'm going to spend my 20 pan on some oh, more yeah. Maggie. All right. So, all right. One division. No, definitely for it. Um, did any of you watch the trailer for the last five episodes? No, I couldn't. No, couldn't do it, no. Good. But, good. No, no, no. Good. But, but I didn't no, either. But, but, no, no. <laughs> this guy, he did as well. But <laughs> I, I did, I did see, I did um, watch. Um, Careful, Rich. No, no. I did watch a interview with um, Vision. Oh, what's his Paul, real character? Paul, Bet- Paul Bettany. Yeah. And what he was saying, what's to come on the, but he said he's not allowed to say it, but he was, so basically someone from the MCU is going to be in it, which is oh. basically going to make everyone go wild. Oh, thanks for the semi-spoilers. Well, I, I, didn't I, didn't that. I didn't know that. Well, I, I, I didn't I, say who. I probably thought it was obvious, but yeah, thanks anyway for just airing it out. Yeah, I don't, I don't think of who it can be straight away. Well, Doctor? I'm yeah. um, sorry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 oh, break the rules, you know. No, no, but we've we already kind of established that we believe that she's going to be yeah, the enemy in yeah. the next one, but it's why she's going to be the enemy. Mm. And yeah, okay. I'm here for Team Sword because Sword is not a subject of Shield, but it was basically set up to kind of deal with the extraterrestrial stuff, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, base stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you Monica, know, it was Monica's mum that found yeah. it, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so Monica, right? So I was doing some bit of background digging. So she's Captain Marvel as well. In one of one of the episodes of um... so in a, in a part of the comic she does turn yeah into, yeah she, uh, she takes Marvel. the mantle of Captain Marvel yeah yeah so I was just like raw and she's apparently she's been in a lot of Spider Man mag um, comics as well mm. so that 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 that'd be good to see what happens in the future in regards to that I also think it's a bit mad that people have just change over you know like I can be Captain America then I give you the shield then you're Captain America. If part of it is like, no, but wasn't I Captain America's like I took the serum and I, that was me. I can't just mm. give that to you. But I guess yeah. in Black Panther they did that. They they drank may, it. Maybe now Captain America's a symbol in it rather than the physicality that, of it. So it's yeah, like yeah. this is this is a show that represents America, like and do yeah, they what they're doing. But mm. yeah, no, definitely. But anyway, we're gonna talk about MCU in a little bit. All right. Mm. Um Ashley Waters 
aka Asher D, as we know him in the, the, the earlier years, he released a directorial debut of a, t- a short short film. Would you say? Yeah, yeah. Short film or short, yeah, it was called Boys. All right, it came out maybe last week or before on Sky Arts. Anyone get a chance to watch it? Yeah, nah, I watched actually, it. No, no, no. Rich, what did you think of it? Um, or, or, or what is it, Rich? Before, before you talk. Okay, me. okay. It's about a a young sixteen year old boy. Um, well, his his, his birthday's just gone. Um, he gets a phone call from his brother from prison, and his brother is more or less told him to um get a few items to send send to him in prison. So, in his and his brother basically goes off and makes money um, by selling drugs um, and manages to buy the items of clothing, garments and whatever it is. And he more or less sends it back. Well, he attempts to send it back, but he doesn't have enough money. Mm. Um, but, you know, I was, I, I was like, okay, I, I didn't, I didn't know what to expect when I, when you mentioned it last week and I thought, let me have a look at it. And I thought, the first scene is like a 16 year old kid masturbating. And I thought, mm, should I continue to watch this program? <laughs> you know, I was just like, okay, I thought, okay, I'll just give it a go. Um, but I, I'm, I'm just, just going to be honest. You know, I, I like Ashley Walters, you know, historically and everything. I just don't, I don't, I don't get the purpose of this show. I, um, no, I, 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 I try to kind of view it from a, pretend I was a director or I was some part of the film industry, but I just don't feel there's a massive message there for you mm. um, as a viewer. Um, but that's that's my personal opinion anyway. But Nate, you watched it. What did you... Yeah, it's, I guess similar. It's kind of a snapshot of a day almost or a little bit of mm. time in this life of the 16-year-old English boy who clearly misses his brother and wants to kind of be the big man. And he just goes and does things basically to buy, like, so he uses all his birthday money to buy his brother these things because his brother said that you must get them for me. So he's gone out to get like tracksuits, some trainers, all this kind of stuff. Then he realized he doesn't have enough money and he rolls with one of his best friends kind of thing. And they go around just doing stuff. Then he starts like shot in, like he needs to get some money, start shot in, try and get a bit more money in, like you see them in Leicester Square. And there's sections of it, you see them on like Kingsland High Road, like near Dawson. Mm. And like, so, you know, obviously whenever anything's in like the ends, you kind of like, oh, right, that's such and such a place, or that's such and such a place. Um, and it's a bit like Shoreditch and stuff. And it, it was, it is what it is, but I, I agree with you. It didn't really have a message. So mm. in the end, like he gets a phone call from his brother in prison. And his brother's kind of telling him that he's got to be the big man and like don't let me down and all this kind of stuff. But obviously, he kind of just breaks down and he wants him to come home, innit? Yeah. Like he and, and, cries and he like he can't cry and all this kind of stuff. And and that's where, and I, I thought I didn't understand that part because I thought, bro, he's sixteen. You know, you should be telling your little brother, I don't want you to be like me. Get your head straight. Focus educate yourself etc you know I, I expected that to come from his brother but when his brother started saying you should be the big man you should you know do this do that and I thought mm, I still don't that's why I said no nah, this, this yeah, yeah, this, I, I, yeah it's not for yeah, me I don't think it had a message per se I don't think it was um a piece of material that was like message you don't do this it wasn't one of those ones it was just mm. it is what it is I think you watch it for what it is at the time and then you say all right cool Will you necessarily watch it again? Maybe not. Would you recommend it to other people? Maybe not. But it's short <laughs> enough that it's like, okay, cool. You just watched it in it. Yeah. But, like but I feel it, like I was watching it to more support Ashley Waters. Yeah, it? and I think and I think that, that that was the exact same the reason why I watched it. But it did say series one, episode one. So me thinking there's a potential. No, you, I, I hope not. But I think sometimes with, <laughs> no, what is it? Sometimes on Sky, like it says that all the time. Like you just see that series one, episode one, you're thinking, okay, there's a next episode. And it isn't. I don't okay. know if it's like a default setting on Sky. Mm. Okay. Okay. Like oh. even with the documentary that we're going to talk about now, I guess we can finish talking about the boys if no one wants to talk about it. Mm. So like we watched the documentary, a document, well, Kel corrected me. This documentary came out, when did you say Kel? 2019? 
Yeah, 2008. Yeah, massive, yeah. yeah. But it was released on Sky Documentary this week. Obviously, Sky have got a new documentary channel. Mm-hmm. And it is called Rise of the Superheroes. Yeah. And also it's on Amazon Prime as well, you know. Oh, it's on Amazon Prime yeah. as well? Oh, yeah. is it? Yeah. Okay. Check, yeah. yeah. That's where you put a comment, right? Who? Did you put a comment on Amazon Prime? No, no, this is the first time I'm saying it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. I didn't know it was on Amazon Prime, so I watched yeah. it on Sky Documentary. Yeah, like, same. Like, yeah. It, uh... No, we should talk about the thing that you, sh- you put in a group. We put Superman yeah. flying. Oh, oh, no, that's my TV time, at man. <laughs> oh, sorry, yeah. sorry. That's what yeah, I yeah. thought. Okay, cool. Yeah. Hmm. Um, bro, I'm going to be real. I've watched this documentary about three times already, you know. Are <laughs> you been serious? Bro, three times? Yeah, yeah, there's certain sections. I'm like, <laughs> okay, all right. Obviously, you know when it's late, I fall asleep as well. <laughs> okay, yeah, it makes so, sense. Like, you know? I've watched stuff over and over again, though. Like, mm. There's bits where I like, want to go back and kind of learn about it. Mm. But... What did you not think of the actual documentary? It is a proper documentary. It's almost two hours long. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Bro, like, like I was saying, it's like, you know, I was just buzzing. You know, like, you forget how far we've come in the superhero movie world. Like, just from these early beginnings, like, I suppose, yeah, you might as well say Batman 89, really. Um, I think that's more or less the standout superhero movie. Well, like, yeah. What's talking about Batman 89? Superman. Superman, yeah, like, Superman, yeah, yeah. Like, but 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 in the documentary they showed Batman first before they went to Superman for some strange reason. Yeah, they didn't really. They didn't, in fact, they didn't yeah, even really right. show. They didn't even showcase Superman. No, yeah, they, 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 they did. spoke about it. They spoke about they, it. They yeah, spoke about briefly, it, but they didn't really, yeah, yeah, but yeah. not 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 like the way they done Batman. So, no. um, yeah, but it just makes you think, realize how many films have actually come out. Like they got they got to a point where they almost just actually just had to mention the title of the film, and that's it because there's so much. That that has been out there, and you can just see how both studios, Marvel and DC, well, no, they were even studios then, but like just the comics, like Marvel and DC, DC have obviously been like the the top of everything, like, and how they've both struggled. Like DC obviously rolled out a lot of films, and they just made it work, like mm. Superman, Batman. Um, the later Batman movies, like Chris no- Chris Nolan ones. Mm-hmm. And obviously like Marvel, um, you had like loads of comics and stuff, but their films in the beginning just flopped. Like it was showing like the Captain America film, mm-hmm. um, Fantastic Four. I don't even know the Fantastic Four film existed, the, the really, really old one. Um, and, and yeah, to the point where they just got bankrupt and had to sell, like they just basically just, whoever was going to take them in it. <laughs> so you had things like, Fox buying them, Sony, New Line Cinema, and all that mm. stuff. But um, no, but, but, yeah. So I was gonna say it, it's a good thing they showed that because everyone presumes, assumes, sorry, <laughs> assumes <laughs> that Marvel have been great from the get go. Yeah, and you know everyone thinks that. And I when when I saw it, and I thought they went bankrupt. I thought they went bankrupt. It's like mm. you know they must have thought they will never ever come back from. Yeah, uh, Kevin Kevin Foggy and what, what's that other guy's name? Um, Is it Avi Avi Arad? No, not Avi Arad. Uh, but anyway, what are you thinking they, of John they, 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 oh. I don't know, but no. they they revived the MCU world basically. Well, they, um, no, well, they created the MCU world. There was an MCU world. Okay, yeah. So you remember yeah, before yeah. it was just Marvel films. Yeah, because yeah, it's Mar- but basically Marvel Studios because Marvel yeah. didn't have a studio. Before. Yeah. Yeah. So, but originally they were talking that obviously they had sold a lot of their kind of products and that's where you yeah. had X-Men and they even spoke about the fact that a lot of the trilogies the first two films were great and the third one wasn't as great yeah so like the X-Men X-Men 3 was the worst one out of the X-Men yeah. you know what I mean yeah. even mm-hmm. though they but, all, but all these films have to give thanks to who? Blade all yeah that's the, yeah, the first films. successful they Marvel they said it yeah. yeah you have to give thanks to Blade and you know what Steve unless of course like you're obviously a proper comic book fan or even if you're not a comic book fan or you just watched the animated Spider-Man 94 series, you would never, like a lot of people didn't know that Blade was a Marvel character. Mm. So it's like, even though you're seeing the new line cinema and it's like at some point you might see Marvel and think, you don't even think nothing of it, even if you see Marvel. But mm. yeah, it's like if I didn't see the animated version of um, Blade in um, Spider-Man. Spider-Man series, I wouldn't have, I, I, no. I wouldn't have Registered to me straight away. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, but I, I feel, that's sorry. That's how I feel about Howard the Duck. Mm, yeah. Howard yeah. the Duck. Growing up was one of my favorite films. Yeah, I did. It was yeah, only I when I never, saw Howard yeah. the Duck was in um, um, Guardians. Guardians. Galaxy. Yeah. I was like, the, yeah, what, yeah. What's going on? Yeah. No. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I never knew that as well. Yeah. Yeah. 
um, and they'll say that because Blade was an unknown character and Iron Man was an unknown character, they were able to expand on it because there's no one can tell, no, you can't do like, that. If it was mm. Superman or Captain America, the three people like, no, it can't be like this. But with Blade and characters like Iron Man, because they're unknown in the comic world, or not unknown, but they won't know on, like, they, weren't, yeah. they, weren't, they didn't have their own comic books. Yeah. Per se, yeah. so there wasn't much story around them. Yeah, they were able to elaborate more and be more expressive. Yeah. That's why those films are so successful because, you know, they had that green light basically. Yeah. But, so, but the thing is, right? To, you say you say like Iron Man wasn't successful. But I've always known Iron Man. I've, no, I, got... Iron Man's always been there, but it's just like it's not. He wasn't as popular as your Spider Man's, your Superman, Batman. Your Spider Man, Superman, Batman's. They were yeah. your standouts. Yeah. I, can't, I can't lie to you. As soon as they announced they were going to make an Iron Man film, I was like, yeah. Like, what, what, yeah. A, what a strange character to start off. And obviously, we didn't know there was an MC going to be an MCU. But mm. you'd think that they'd actually start off someone, I don't know. Like, I mean, to More be fair, we already, we, had, we already had Spider-Man already, like the Sam Raimi one. But I just thought, yeah, like, who, was, who would have actually been next in line? I mean, obviously, we had X-Men already, so... Mm. But I think it's just that first, because yeah, that first trailer when Iron Man came out, people were so film. hyped about the trailer that they were they were actually scared. They say, "Look, don't release the film; just leave it as the trailer. We'll be happy with the trailer." Like that's <laughs> that's how sick the trailer was. I, I, I remember when I first saw that trailer. I was like, "Oh my god, man, this is levels." But, well, Iron Man trailer, yeah, it's yeah, a, no, no, one no. of the best trailers I've seen, man. They 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 took it to a next level. Yeah, like the, 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 yeah. So the, the Batman film. Was- um, give you memories because the 1989 Batman, mm, yeah. Because um, I, I was, I think I was, I was eight at the time, mm. and um, and my uncle wanted to take me in it, but it's, I feel mm. like it was a twelve, if I remember correctly, yeah, a twelve or eleven or something like that. And I was like, <laughs> come on, uncle. I begged, I begged and pleaded, begged and pleaded, <laughs> and he goes, but they won't let you in though. They goes, they won't yeah. know, they won't know. This, this come. And yeah, he mm. took me, and that was my first time that like, just watching Batman. I think that's why he's my favorite character to be honest. Yeah. But it had such an imprint on my youth. And, mm. well, you you yeah. managed to see that in the cinema. You're so lucky. Man. Yeah, 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 so I saw it in the cinema. I, yeah, I, I saw that in the man. cinema, I think, in 2019 for the very first time. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I'll be real. I was, yeah. I was pirate man, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I started watching a lot of films. <laughs> yeah. No, but I think, that's, okay, for me, what it was especially was it was about a journey. Yeah. It was about the journey of the Marvel, like th- just the comic book world turning into films. Hmm. And like at the moment, one of the things I got from it, like I want to do is I want to go back and actually watch all the different Batmans. Hmm. And I would love to do a podcast on which is the best Batman and which oh, is yeah. the best Batman film. Like, cause actually there were so many things and they talked about the different journey of all the different Batmans. And then obviously, like I said, it did the whole journey and it talked about flash stuff like, was it Green Lantern? Or Green Lantern, yeah. Green Lantern, yeah, Green Lantern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like how those certain yeah, films flop. And all that, yeah, and all that kind of, that. and I was thinking, raw. And then it talks about, obviously, the introduction of the MCU and how, like, they just made it work. You'd almost think that my man wrote there with a blueprint and said, this is what we're going to do. Yeah. As opposed to almost learning as he's doing it. Mm, yeah. And he talks Probably. about the introduction yeah. of certain characters, like Thor. That mm. they thought, how are they going to be able to do this Norse yeah. god? Like no one's going to care true, about it. Was this. Too fantasy, it? It was yeah. Too, yeah. Yeah. yeah, They made that work. Yeah. They even got Guardians yeah. of the Galaxy. There was like a little known comic that no one cares yeah. about. Yeah. And, and I'll be like, it's just well, mad things. Like yeah. and then like how they made them into work. And they talked about the Avengers and all that kind of stuff. And you see them turning up at premieres and all of these like unknown actors that they got. Like yeah. I think it was, like it was. For me, it's a documentary. I pressed keep button on 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 the sky. Like mm-hmm. I've kept press keep. <laughs> because I'm going to watch it because I think it was I learned so much from it yeah and I'll be real with you like for me this was the first time that somebody could explain why the DCU universe hasn't yeah. worked yeah no yeah. it's true it's true and no, that but, woman, no, but, no, but they were wrong about certain films though they were wrong about certain films like, what, like, like, what? like um what films they cuss I was like no oh, that film was good man that film was a good film I feel the Batman, yeah, Batman vs Superman. That's a good film. No, 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 no. But no, but, oh, yeah. no, but you know, yeah. no, why she cusses it? Like, no. it? No, probably why she cusses it though? 100%, why she yeah. cusses it was a hundred percent correct. Yeah. It's too dark. It's too she, dark. No, not even that. It was too dark. She said she crystallized it, man. She said like the reason why it was like this is because Superman was just depressed and Batman was just angry. And like yeah. it, it, what it was is they made a film that showed no. I don't know. You know, like the MCU films. Hmm. 
there's always something there's always something you can smile about or laugh about or chuckle or whatever yeah. like there's at least one feel good moment in the film yeah. in Batman and I get we can go dark don't get me wrong Kel. I understand mm. you like the DC because it's dark but that film bro, from the lighting from every, it was just dark. Fam. Yeah, it was too yeah. dark. It was too yeah. dark. There was, so, bro. Yeah. You have to try and brighten up your TV. Like, is it my TV? It's uh, dark. It, it, was, it wasn't. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. Yeah, bro, 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 it, was, was, it was. It was. It was. It was yeah, that it was and bad. Justice League. It was just like, what is the matter with you, lot, man? Like, I just feel like they had the opportunity to go a certain place and they didn't. They lost the opportunity. Do, and Marvel, and um, what hmm. she said was like, within the MCU, he's like, I read somewhere and he said, to be honest. I'm not trying to make it seem like the comics. Mm. I don't know if I watched it or I read it today. He said, yeah. I'm not trying to make it like the comics. You've already read that story. If you want to read mm. that story, go and read the comic. Mm. Like he's doing his own thing. Yeah. Do you get me? Because he's like, oh, why did you change it from the way the Infinity Stones and all the rest of it? He said, look, brother, if you want to see that, read. you can read it. Where I think DC try and stick too much to the blueprint. Like mm. make the world whatever you want it to be. To a, even, to a certain to degree. Extent, to an extent. Yeah. I don't even think DC necessarily stuck too much to the comics. I just think they, you know, it is. It's like, someone's probably like, oh, uh, what would it be like to be a real alien um, in, in this planet? Like, you'll be, you'll be feared, you'll be scared, and like, you, you, you feel like you won't fit in. And, you're, like, and I get that. But obviously, that's the whole point of Superman's origins, of, of when he came to Smallville um, and he was growing up. That's the that's the time when he's more than likely to be like you know what, I'm I'm lost I'm I'm just an alien in this like Kansas City like and you know if, I don't know what to do but obviously once he's established as Superman, he's probably going to feel a lot more all right I've learned about the world I'm going to be a bit more confident mm-hmm. but he was just no he was just, no see you're not getting it wrong listen no nah, no nah, there's no way no, no. He's, he's supposed <laughs> to be a symbol of hope no yeah. remember no, Superman's supposed to be no, hope no there was nothing no. hopeful all he, about listen, all his life this is about how 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 old he is now all his life he's been like. People, people have been against him because he's got powers. He's able to understand him. So people are going to uh, fight against him. So he, it's, got, it's a reminder to him that he's not human. So of course he's going to feel some way about himself. Of course he's going to feel like, rah, I'll never be accepted by his people. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, it's, that's, that's real, it's more realistic. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. This is more realistic. No, but again, yeah. you know and, I mean? And he's red cape, yeah? No, come on, the red cape, but that, he's Superman. No, you know what I mean? That, that, that outfit is, was given to him from... Um, <laughs> Krypton, so it's like it's, it's that's that's not Look, that's even here no days. At the end of the day, it's a comic, so that red cape is a comic, isn't it? Yeah, I hate, I, like I, Marvel, I've, got, I've, got, I've got no problem with the red cape. I'm just bait, but what I'm trying to say is that you can you can touch upon realistic themes, but it's also a superhero comic that's supposed to like it's supposed to inspire and make people a bit happy, isn't it? That th- this Always. is why, why, nah, why? Right, look, if you're if you're gonna, if you're gonna make, it's not a must. It's not a must. No, I think if you wanna if you wanna make a film for the masses, it's a must. Yeah, they should have done some. See, they should have no, done some got... Elseworld. Like they, they, you see, see like how they done Joker, like the recent um, Joaquin Phoenix Joker. Mm. Do a Superman like that. Just, just do it. Do it Elseworld. Murph, Murph, do, you, Murph, don't wait, wait, wait. don't make man, it the man. main canon of Superman, innit? Listen, listen. What you might forget is that Super had a massive fight with Zod. Yeah, massive fight destroyed Metropolis of the buildings or whatever because their fight. Yeah, mm. obviously destroyed um, Bruce Wayne's building. Yeah, yeah. Um, killed thousands of people. Yeah. Right, so obviously the next epi- the next film after that, it's not gonna be happy, jolly. Oh, hi guys, hi I'm Superman, I saved the world. Or Batman's not gonna be happy, like, oh, hi Superman, thank you for destroying my building, thank you for killing like thousands of people, thank you for destroying this whole bloody place, thank you for nah. like um, Luther now kidnapping this and that. Listen, like super- Superman, our Superman's actions caused a lot of disarray within those two cities within Goth- Gotham because they wanted and, it to um, be that. It was it's supposed no, to be set like that from the that- start. Well, there you go. It's dark, so you can't expect it to be all happy, go lucky, right. this whole okay. hands right. as in Kumbaya. Okay, you're saying like that, that though. You saying that though. Okay, Kumbaya. which is fine. I, I get, I'm, and I'm not necessarily talking about Superman Batman because Superman Batman wasn't a shit film, and I, I wasn't necessarily talking about that particular film. I'm talking about their creation of their universe is more what I was talking about as opposed to the MC universe. Hmm. Because yes, you can. So, for example, after obviously in like um, Civil War. Black Panther and them are vexed because you like mashed, they killed the dad and all the rest. Yeah, I'm not saying yeah. that you can't be have vengeance. I'm talking about more about the creation of their universe. Like Batman and Superman coming together was supposed to be the start of their kind of whole Justice League. Mm. And for me, yeah, it just set, it's set on a that's bad. Fine, but no, no. But the thing is, 
at every start, it's not going to be. It's not going to be like okay, let's start uh, okay. a Justice League. All right, Kel, be friends. No, Kel, you have to Kel. show the nitty gritty first. Kel, I hear you. No bro. way, you have to what show the nitty gritty. What are your thoughts? Oh, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts on DCU, bro? They didn't earn it. What are your thoughts on the films, bro? What are your thoughts on the films? The MCU, yeah. No, no. Alright, listen. I'll be honest. The MCU films are better than DC films. But my argument is, you can't just say no. But you you can't just say it's too dark or. Batman, Batman and Superman, you, you, there's, there's no this and that on it. No, but it's it's more realistic. They're being real. Like, no, no one wants real, bro. You go see the for no, no, I want real. I, I, I want real. Turn on the news if you want real, bro. Look, don't watch no, movies. Bro, get out of here. See, look, you're just saying shit. <laughs> Who wants to say shit, bro? bro it's not look, no, real. No, no, it's, no, it's, it's, no. it's in the comics. It's, it's in the comics, yeah? Like, oh, you mean it's true to the comics, you mean? Yes. I don't think it's true. I don't think it's true. No, but listen. No, but, okay, all right. Okay, let's forget the comics for now. Let's go by the films, yeah? Mm. The films, we had Superman, yeah? You yeah. had, then, obviously, then, obviously, uh, Superman fighting and sword and stuff. So it's a continuation. Batman is vexed with Superman because what he, what happened, the effects... Obviously, Superman didn't mean for it to happen, but to protect right. the world, he had to kill Zod. But in order to do that, he had to destroy yes, yeah. what right. happened. Look, look. You know what I mean? So yeah. it can't be no, okay, thank you, Superman, let's be friends. No, before, that, before they become friends and before they become a team, you have to show what happened, how they became that team, yeah. and why why they were enemies at first, and what what. But look, that, but look what happened. Hatred. Look how look how fast it. Look 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 how fast like that. Batman and Superman met in that film, right, for the first yeah. time. Yeah, right. Ready to kill him with kryptonite. Said Martha. One one word, Martha. And then all of, and then at the end of the film, he's oh, like, "Come on, oh, come on." I let him down. What are you talking about? You don't no, even know him. I let no, him down. I, listen, I say, I, I say, oh, no, time. no, that you didn't earn it. No, they, didn't, listen, they didn't earn their, they didn't earn their the Justice film. League, not Listen, listen yeah. that part of the film is bullshit. That Martha part was and the rest of it is as well. Line. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. <laughs> no, it ain't. Far from it. No, it ain't. The whole kryptonite thing was, was on point. The only way you kill, look, look at the way you destroy Batman's car. How dare you? Man destroyed his car, goes, listen, the next time that bat side comes up, yeah? <laughs> Oh, go like, well, who are you, bro? Like, I'm Batman. You can see my car. No can one. you bleed? Imagine, can you bleed? We'll see in it. No, no, I, you bleed, it's no I told tonight. you about this Batman thing, bro. I told you about this Batman thing. Batman's a bad man. That's what he's not. Saying, he's just no, no. a rich man no, that's no, miserable, no, bro. No, he's not miserable. He's, he is, bro. But he has a reason. There's a reason to it. That's what I'm saying. There's, oh, because his parents were killed. Like, I feel like this because Batman's his parents were killed. Oh, it's not even that. that. That's what I mean. You forget the whole his whole journey, bro. <laughs> Ragu, all of that. But there's so much stuff that is being. No, 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 no. Bro. But we don't know that in this. That's what I'm saying. You... No, but we know. But we know Batman's history, bro. No, we but we don't history. know Batman in this. Come on, this okay. Superman here isn't right. the Superman from all the other ones. That's what I mean. Exactly. Okay. But but that's what I mean. It's still the reason. No, but that's what I'm saying. It's like this. They've showed why. Bro, you it's like you've story. just magically got to hair and you haven't, like, it's a doofus. It's not, it's not magically. It's not it magically. is. Oh, the Batmans man, don't, man Batman don't, don't follow. The Batmans don't follow. The Batmans don't follow. Like, all the different Batmans don't follow. They don't, like, the original yeah, Batman. Like, it's new. It's new. What are you so, exactly. About? So, this follow. new Batman is new, just like Superman is new. It's all like. No, it's just... no, the Bare Flick ones follow. What are you talking about? The Bare Flick ones, they're all Ben Affleck, sorry. Yeah, but how many Ben Affleck's? How many weren't this his first one? No, obviously, he had. Yeah, Superman. Justice League and stuff. No, but they you know were what I mean? after. Yeah, but what I'm trying to say is this from this storyline, it follows. That's what I'm trying to say. So you can't say it doesn't follow. Obviously, um Christian Bell's a separate, it's a whole different No, but that's thing. what I mean. I'm talking about the yeah. whole thing. But for me, I I didn't like it. Yeah, it's, but for me, okay. She verbalized what I thought is more what it was about, innit? She verbalized yeah. what she was, I thought. I, I believe, I, and in my opinion, she's wrong. I don't. I think in the masses' wrong. opinion, you men right. are wrong as well. You men are wrong. I think the masses okay. know that. I think, to be honest, no, no, you don't understand. You don't understand. I don't get it. I agree with the whole. Listen, I, I said it. I just said it. Mar- Marvel Marvel films are better than DC films. I I, I accept. That. I'm not trying to say Marvel DC films are better than Marvel. No, I'm not saying that. But I, I, but I understand the darkness. I understand. I understand where it's coming from. Okay. And I understand the characters and why it's like that. So can you, you understand can't... that? It's, it's, can you understand why the DCU universe doesn't have the potential to be as good as the MCU universe? No, because DC they're, they're all separate. They're all like it's like all the writers and producers. They're all on different planets. They don't. They don't. They're not. They're not putting the stories right together. Like in regards to um, how Marvel are doing it. So they need a ma- they, they need one it, man that's gonna they need a person to oversee most of it then that's what they really need. They need a Kevin Feige basically. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, they need yeah, someone yeah, who's gonna yeah. fact, who's connecting the dots. They just need to sell. They yeah, just yeah, need yeah, to sell yeah. it to, to Disney, isn't it? Done. No, 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 no. Don't do <laughs> that. Don't do that. Don't Straight. do that, man. 
But then we'll have DC versus Marvel and all that nonsense. No, no, no. Oh, I don't mind that, either, as long as it's good. <laughs> imagine, imagine. Oh, but see, but this is the thing, you know, Christian Bell's era as Batman is significant. They oh, should just, sick. they should continue off of that. Forget, just forget everything they're doing now. Just continue off of that. He's met. That was dark, though. He was dark in that as well. That was that no. Was the, a dark the thing is, we're not, we're not. We're not. I don't Bat- think it's about Batman's the darkness. supposed to be dark. It's not about the darkness. So we're, we're, I don't understand. But no, that, was no, main, that was her main issue. That was her main. No, issue, no, no. Bro. But they say, but but Superman was Superman was dark as well. Superman yeah. was yes, miserable. Yes. Why? Because no, look, people, the people are turning against him, Merv. But the that's the reason why the film don't... They're, they're, they're graffitiing his statue. They're, so he saw this. He saw the people against him. Yeah, but what I'm trying to say... You're a big man. Like, you're a big man. Why are you letting that's that more, affect he, you, bro? He, he, that's what, the reason feelings, why... That's the reason feelings, why you don't have feelings, bro. If you're a big man, you're a superhero. You can fly. Wow. That's, this on. is the reason why... why are you, that's petty, bro. But this is the reason why these DC films don't work. Because they made... Superman doesn't work as a dark character. I hear what, they're, I hear what you're saying. And like I said, if they were going to make Superman a dark character... You see how they've done, like... Superman, Red Sun, or mm. um, they've done all these different variants of Superman. You don't put that in the mainstream and think it's gonna work. It doesn't work. Okay, Merv, Merv, Merv. Mm. Man of Steel was it? Was he? Was he a Happy Go Larry Superman? Do you know what? I accepted that film. He was. He, he wasn't. Was, he, was, was he, was, he, was, he was. He was. He was a Happy Go Larry. The film was shit. He wasn't. You know what? I, tell a lie. I liked the Man of Steel. I liked. The, I liked the where they the, how they. Start. I liked it as well. I liked it, but he wasn't but, no Happy Go Larry. Oh, I'm happy. Let's save the world. But, but it's character. like the build up, the, the leading towards the end of it. I'm like, okay, I, I want to see a bit of happy Superman in it. So when we go into the next film, he's already established as Superman. He's saving people, doing happy things. Yes. And we yes. didn't get that. But we didn't get that. We, it was we miserable. Because Zod, because Zod came and that big fight happened and it impacted the bloody city and and destroyed and killed yeah, thousands but, of people. But they just oh, done too much. Get, get over they, it, man. They've they done no. too much. They've done too much. They, they, they shouldn't even have done that in that first film, I don't think, anyway. I, I think, dude, t- put Zod in it a, a lot not? later. It's realistic. You think an alien fight would be a minor... You think an alien fight would no, just happen in the I'm, house? and I, You're staying in the house? <laughs> of course not. It's an alien fight. I don't bro. mind the alien Kel, fight. Kel, 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 one second. But they put it in the wrong film. Kel, MCU destroy New York every single film, bro. Yeah? I ain't never seen no one vexed. What happened? Look, Civil War. That's, what, that's they, why Civil War but, happened. But you know what? If MCU, that's they, what happened. They do, address the, they do address the damage because that's what that's the whole point in um, <laughs> Spider-Man yeah, Homecoming as well. And, and Civil uh, yeah, War as well. Yeah. They address it, but it's like... It's not that big a deal. And Civil War was dark. Civil War was a dark. That, that's, that's a dark film as well. It's dark. Like, the, like all the darkness in MCU is still bright, isn't it? <laughs> even, though, even the Endgame battle, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Still bright. Uh, All right, cool. But Rise of Superheroes is on Sky Documentaries and it's also on Amazon Prime or Prime Video, should I say? Look and watch it, and then so let us cool. know what your thoughts are. Like, yeah. does Kel know what he's talking about, <laughs> or is the rest of them right? Now put that in your pipe and smoke it. All right, cool. All right, um, a film came out this week on. Guy movies, um, which was called Twist, which is re- a remake of the Oliver Twist story. Um, I know, Kel, you watched it. Mm. Absolute bullshit. Okay, absolute. forget. It. I'll huh? just talk about myself then. It's absolute, absolute, absolute bullshit. No, it wasn't. I can't believe was, what you're it was, saying. It was garbage. Uh, all right, all right garbage. cool. Thanks. Rich, did you watch it? No, I didn't. Uh, don't waste your time. Do not waste your time. <laughs> what? Oh, Kel, <laughs> let me mute no, him. I, you know, I was even. <laughs> Let me mute him. Where's the mute button? I'll mute him. I'll mute him no, right I was, now. You know what? I, I was just a play of Michael Keane's acting. It was awful. Michael okay. Was all right. Awful. So, all right. Let me. I'm gonna mute him. All right, guys. Right, nah. Five, nah. four. I'm uh, muting. So this is wrong. This is wrong. I'm muting. Him. Wrong. <laughs> all right. Unbelievable. All right. Cool. This twist is a remake of the Oliver Twist story. How's it right? remake? It's got nothing to do. It's, it's not gonna come and call it a remake because. It's got nothing to do with Oliver Twist, the original. It's got nothing to do with it. It's not a remake. It's a Please, whole sir, different... Can I have it's, some it's more? Nah, okay. <laughs> nothing right. like that. No. It's nothing like that. It's a yeah. touch up. Okay. It's a... No, it is. It's okay. Nothing like that. Hold on. Do it they have... it is. Do, do, they, do, do they have those lines? No. No, 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 no then it's no, dead. No. He's dead. He's dead. It's dead. Right, I'm going to mute all of you. Dead. Fucking hell. All right, for the first time, I'm actually going to mute people. Listen, God, this if is don't, unbelievable. If you don't have the please, sir, may I have it's, some it's more? You can't, you can't put a remake. Okay. What kind of remake or what? It's okay. No, it's a modern version. It's a modern version. It's a modern day version of similarities. Okay. Of the twist story. Okay. 
Okay. All right. But it's a modern version. So for example, it's something that they've kind of done and it's been jazzed up in the 2020 section. Um, starring people like Rita Ora, who I thought her acting there you was go. actually okay. There you go. That that's is it all. There you go. <laughs> I can't understand. I don't understand what's happening. Bro, it was it bro. It all was right. Close. Okay. No, I'm at, no, on a level, if no, I no, mute no, him. No. If I mute him, if I mute him, <laughs> all right. Let's 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 let take let's let let's let Nate talk. Sorry, sorry, Nate. Sorry, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right, cool. So twist is, do you know what? It's got Rita Ora in it. Do you know what? I'm not even going to. It's got Rita Ora in it. It's got Michael Caine in it. It has No Clark in it. Um, it has one of the other guys from um one of the other police officers that are in. What's that program that he done with Asher D? Bulletproof. Bulletproof. Yeah. Um, and it's got it's basically it's a kind of modern telling of the story. It has people like the Artful Dodger. It has Nancy in it. It has the dog. It has Fagan. It's got Keith Lemon in it. Keith, Keith Lemon. Keith Lemon. Oh, where's Keith? Keith Lemon? Who's Keith? He's a park contender. He's a, he's a oh yeah, yeah. To be fair, I ignored that bit. No, but actually, it was quite funny. But basically, it's the story of this man, this boy. He grows up. His mum dies. His mum kind of teaches him art stuff and all the rest of it, which I guess is similar to kind of Oliver Twist story, but he doesn't. He just kind of lives on the street, or whatever. Then he does like graffiti and tagging and all this kind of stuff. His mom kind of wants to be an artist, and then he grows up. And as he's kind of growing up, he then bumps into these random people who become like artful dodger and all the rest of it. And they kind of go on, and he comes to introduce him to Fagin's world, and they kind of start doing stuff like art crime and all the rest of it, like kind of still properties, or whatever. I'm not going to ruin the thing because I thought it was actually all right. It also stars David Williams. It's a kind of. It's not a serious film. It's more of a kind of light-hearted film. Um, there's lots of stuff like parkour and all that kind of stuff. So when they're running and they're jumping on the roofs and all that kind of stuff. And it's filmed in these times. Like I said, it's very modern. Yeah. Um, I enjoyed the film. I, I thoroughly enjoyed the film. The woman who plays um, Bill Sykes, or Sykes, should I say? Not Bill Sykes, but the character Bill Sykes. Lena. Yeah. Is a woman that was in How to Get Away with Murder, the one with the dark hair. I can't remember what her name is, but I said, it's Nina. a decent little retake make of a f- program. Was it, was it Famke Jensen, the one that played um, Jean Grey, by any chance? No, no. Lena Headley. How to get shaken in How to Get Away with Murder, Lena Headley. Oh, you're talking about um, Cersei from Game of Thrones. I'm not sure what Rich is reading, if I'm honest oh. with you. So I don't know. <laughs> Is that her? Um, no, I don't think it is. I can't see properly. I'll, I'll have a look. Bill at Sykes, no? Yeah, what's her name? Lena. Oh, yeah. Okay, click yeah, on so, her. Click so on her. This is from Game of Thrones then, yeah. So Jesus Christ. Um, I'm not sure why Rich loves saying the Lord's name in vain. Like, every yeah, podcast. I, I every just, podcast. I, I, I've just I'll said mute it. Him. Let's mute I've, just, Let's I've mute just said it a few times. Click, mute. All right. She was so, in 300 as well. Finish? Yeah, it's just a few hundred. Yeah, yeah purge. Alright, anyway. Merv, mm. to be honest, if mm. I remember rightly, I actually added Merv and told Merv to watch it. Yeah, yeah. yeah you did say <laughs> Merv, that, yeah. I think you should watch it. Yeah? <laughs> okay. Okay, and watch it and make up your own opinion. Don't listen to oh, Kel. Yeah, honest, honest opinion, Merv. Be honest, honest opinion. Obviously, Kel's still angry about the Batman thing, yeah? So I'm be so, honest I'm and what? watch it. I'm angry that you made me watch this bloody film. That's what I'm angry. <laughs> Waste of two hours. It's not even two hours long, bro. It's an oh, hour and a half, felt, bro. It felt like it felt like two hours. To me. It's an hour and a half, bro. It's an hour and a half. Kel trying to show us his feet. It's an hour and a half, bro. It's not that kind of podcast. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah. All right, cool. It was twist, and I think it's worth watching. I mean, it's worth watching. All right, cool. All right, Kel. Let me use some of this energy. Pause in a good way. Kel does up perfect planet. Talk to me. What's going on? Uh, before, but before, before you go into it, um, Kel, yeah, uh, one of our fans, Nadge, she loved your commentary last week. She was superb. So oh, just thanks, pl- thanks, pl- thanks. please, Nadge, Nadge, Nadge. Nadge. All right, cool. So please step up the levels again this week. <laughs> Under pressure. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. All right. So okay. Like I said to you, I binged this like two weeks ago. So I'm just trying to remember like the, the, the top animals that I registered in my brain. But anyway, there was these um, birds that made from Satan directly. You know, like they, like Satan made these birds in it. Like straight <laughs> vampire birds. Straight, bro. Well, they're little, little, like sparrow, sparrow-sized birds, yeah? 
and like um, they just they they they, they poke like not, they're not seagulls, but they're bigger than seagulls. But they obviously live they, they live on cliffs and whatnot. But these little birds just poke these birds until blood starts coming out. Oh, and it's drinking the blood, bro. It's drinking mm. the blood, and and the, the the big birds aware of it, but it's just letting them in it at all. But what happens is when one bird starts um, pecking the pecking the, uh, the the skip the flesh or the bird, the blood comes out. All the other little birds come like, to drink some, and it's just start fighting. Oh, wow. so obviously, that, that irritates the, the, the seagulls, so they fly off after after a while. But I'm like, why does big birds allow these small birds to drink their blood and mashing them up? But this Bare blood in their feathers, and they're just like, oh. yeah, go on, drink some more, yeah, under my armpits, yeah, I'll drink some more, yeah. like, yeah, help yourself. Here's a, here's a free pint. Like, this is loving it. I'm like, first of all, how, since when do birds love drinking blood? Like, where's that from? Do you know what I mean? This is weird. And then yeah. these big birds are allowing it. But what what the uh, commentator, what um, what's his name? Attenborough. Attenborough was saying was Sir basically Sir, Sir, sorry, Sir David Attenborough. What he was saying was. <laughs> He believes in the past these birds used to clean these like clean the seagulls in it because mm. they of ticks or any other like uh, mites that they might have on them. So they used to they used to um, help them with that. And then basically one bird took it too far <laughs> <laughs> with, the, with the ticks. Yeah, I thought, hmm, oh hang on a second, loud these ticks. What's this little red substance coming out of ya? Yeah, let me have some more of that. And basically, yeah, so so. Some vampire birds have emerged, and yeah, they're, they're loving life right now. Oh, really? Um, but yeah, and also, I remember the, uh, these flamingos. Yeah, so basically, these flamingos they migrate to some like de- some desert land. Yeah, where like it's proper hot. Mm. Even the water, the water is just like the water is just toxic. Basically, no, no. I mean, we can't drink it. No other animal can drink it. But these, this is where the flamingos go and just chill in it, basically. Every sort of, there's like a season for them to go there, lay their eggs, and it's chill in it, and it's kind of like Salt Lake kind of place. And um, like, so obviously, the, what they do is that they, the, the, the eggs hatch separately. So they, they lay the eggs and they just go, go off in it. The, the mums go off, go and chill in this Salt Lake. <laughs> so basically, all these eggs hatch at around the same time in it. So obviously, it's like straight away, you know, how these animals are just super intelligent from birth. They come out, okay, cool, we've got to go to this lake where our parents are. I don't, know, I don't know who told them. I don't know how they know. I don't know what, what I don't know how they know what path to go. I don't know they got Waze or Google Map or whatever, yeah. But it's, they know straight. Like, I got heads to this pot. I got heads to this pond where mum's at, innit? So, like, if I say thousands, like, thousands of them just run. All they're doing is running, bro. And you know, let's say, like, um, let's say everyone's in school, at like school school times, and like a fire alarm goes off. And like, you come out, you come out of your class, innit? And then you see your bedroom over there, like, in the next class. And you see, like maybe like a younger cousin in a cl- in a class below. Then you see an older cousin in the other class. You see them like, wow, what's going on? You cool, yeah? Yeah, what's going on, bro? So obviously, all these all these all these chicks uh, come from very different angles uh, of this desert, yeah, and all meeting up. They all meet up like clash together, and they all be like, yes, bro, what's going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you going? Where you going? You going, you going there as well, yeah? And all they all splurt and splurt into this pond, didn't it? But obviously, when, how how it is is that the soil is mad thick. It's mad thick and it's um so and it dries up quick. So the the, the weaker birds um they they don't make it because it because it, it slows them down and they can't keep up with the bigger ones and the ones that the strong ones are just running. So obviously they they, they obviously there's no it's proper hot, so they die of the dehydration and whatnot. And obviously, as you know, there's more predators on the way, so they're they're still running, 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 and it's massive birds, massive birds is waiting for them, like, hmm, which one should I have for lunch? Well, just pecking them one by one, just pecking them. And it's, yep, I have you, you, you. The birds are evil, bro. Massive, massive beaks. And then, yeah, so the rest will obviously make it to the mums in, in the um, in the salt pond, whatever. But the thing is, it's mad because it's like, think about it, the mums have not seen these chicks. The chicks have not seen their mums, yeah? But they've all got a mad call. Like, it, yeah. your mum, your mum, your mum. And the mum knows, all right, that's yeah. my picnic. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's my that's picnic. My... I've always, out of the thousands, yeah? And she has not seen her chick. And the chick has not seen her mum. But the mum knows, all right, yo, yes, that you, your yeah, come, come, come. <laughs> and the mum knows directly that that's my that's my chick. And that's mm. and the chick knows that's my mum. It's it's just, it's just, bro, it's amazing. Like these, it's just, I should try to say, like, oh, it's 
I can't explain it, but it's, it's, it's a whole different world that we don't know about. These how these 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 how intelligent these animals are. Yeah, it's mad. It's just, it's different mad. types of senses, different types of senses. Trust me. And then there's one more, yeah. But you know what? Sorry, Kel, you know that bit yeah. with that bird thing? You know what upset me about that was, yeah? Obviously, all the birds are running to their mums and they say, yeah, yeah, cool, yeah? Yeah, yeah? But then, like, if you're a mum of one of the birds that didn't make it, like, you just, it's just only then you find out yeah, yeah, that your exactly. pig never made it. You exactly. know what I mean? You're, you're calling out, like, yo, yo, Tyrone, Tyrone, where's Tyrone? Where's Tyrone? No and holler back. Yeah, like, yeah. And, and when the big bird was just looking at them again, I've come for you. And like, I was just eating them. I was like, whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Picking, them, picking them up, bro. Picking them up. Yeah, no, the animal kingdom's mad. It's mad, bro. And then obviously you've got the iguanas, the volca- volcan- volcanic ones mm. that, that live on top of the um, of the vol- volcano, in it? So in it, it's an active volcano, basically, that they live on. So it's always hot, in it? So for them to lay their eggs, they have to climb down this volcano and lay their eggs at the, the bottom. You know what I mean? But it's a mission, bro. Think about it. This is an active volcano, yeah? So it's going to be some rumbles or tumbles. So this mum is coming from the top of the volcano, coming all the way down, like stones are coming, rocks are falling down. You know what I mean? Like, this, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a Mission Impossible, basically. Mm. Bear, James Bond maneuvers. You know what I mean? Then when she gets down, there's, be- there's loads of mums there already. You know what I mean? Like, they're like, yo, this is my spot, you know? Mm-hmm. If you try to come here, I'll give you one slap on my toe. Like, they're all like that, do you know what I mean? So, so if she gets close to one of the mums, the mum will just come out and they start beefing, like, yo, I told you, this is my end, isn't it? And they'll start scrapping. And she just, just to find some, some next area where there's not much of the other mums there, in it. So what, yeah. What's the rationale b- behind putting eggs in an active volcano? Because the, the heat. It's, it's hot, the heat. So it will keep the eggs warm, in it. Bloody you remember, hell. like, you know, like some birds, yeah. they've got supposed to sit on their eggs and that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's how like reptiles lay eggs and they, and they bury it. Like, it's not like crocodiles, sand and all that stuff. Yeah, turtles. Yeah. Turtles, they bury, yeah. Yeah, they bury, yeah. So this is what they got to do as well. Oh. But because it's volcanic, it's, it's this roughier terrains that they have to go through. And they obviously found a little spot, lay the eggs, and bro, she has to climb all the way back, back up. up. Yeah. Like, mad, 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 mad. But those, those are the ones I can remember for now. Yeah, but yeah. Right. If I remember some more, I'll, I'll do some more next week. All right, so that was Kel yeah. does our perfect planet. <laughs> Big up. All right, Merv. Yo. Um, I'm hearing you're doing up Euphoria. Yeah, yeah. So this was um episode two of season two. Um, well, the 2020 it's a special. It's not. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. Because this comes out randomly to be yeah. now. Like, I can't um, find it anywhere. I can't find it anywhere to watch. Yeah, yeah go on. Um, but yeah, no. This this episode is was quite similar to the first one. To be fair, I don't know if they're sort of looking at every single character from the first season and just sort of doing some form of talking therapy with everyone. Because this this episode was about Jules, you know, the um the friend of um Rue um that did they ended up sort of hooking up with each other and stuff. So I think this is like looking at things from Jules perspective, all the trauma that she's been through like in, in the in, like the first season. And you know she was kind of meeting some guy online as well if you can remember like but I think this guy apparently might be just the pigment of her imagination so what we saw in the first season he may not have existed at all from what I got from it anyway oh, wow. so yeah so it was quite deep so they just again just similar to the first one when we was talking to the other guy she was just talking to like like well yeah, this was like a professional counsellor like a therapist so she was just talking about all the things that are happening I think I think her and Rue are not kind of together now. Like, they're, they're doing like little flashbacks of the first season um, where they first sort of hooked up and probably like afterwards. But yeah, it's not it's not really anything to shout and scream about, but I thought it was interesting because again, it's just talking. Just like literally a whole episode of someone going through a counselling session and just talking about life, basically, like all the troubles and stuff. But like I said, I don't know if they're going to end up bringing them all together or they're going to maybe focus on other characters but that was it really so I don't know I don't know what direction they're going with this special episodes or whatever but that was pretty much it all right Mm. short and sweet Merv does up euphoria Hmm. okay that was out on Sky Atlantic or I would say alternative platforms but I'll be honest with you you can't find them well we found the second one we found the second part Um, we could have found the first part yeah um all right, um, this is Nate does up 
section. All right, guys, please forgive me, yeah? But I'll explain to you what I'm going to do, yeah? So, obviously, you know my mum watches all these programmes and that, yeah? And like, Shout out, mums. Shout out, mums. <laughs> like, she might have, like, she, 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 she might be trying to do a little segment for us on the pod one day, like a little thing, because she watches the most things. Like, if we think we're bad, Come on. <laughs> like, she just watches random stuff. So, oh, damn, I was about to say, starting saying I'd gone to her house, but I forgot it's a lockdown. So I have spoken to her on the phone, on FaceTime, and <laughs> she was laughing. I said, Mom, we laughing at? And then basically she explains me why she was laughing. All right, so I'm not advocating this program or saying I watch this program or telling people to watch the loads of them. It's just this particular story. So um, I don't know if any of you are understand or have watched the program Bradzilla before. No. So Bradzilla is it's a kind of like reality TV where it's usually somebody who is about to get married and usually, I think this, I don't know how many series they've done, and it comes on ITVB or whatever it is. And usually, there's people that are a bit horrible, not horrible, they're just a bit, there's a certain way about wanting to kind of do their wedding. And there's always kind of something that's kind of messes up or what have you. So, this particular episode, um, there's these two black women, yeah, and they're um, partners and they're about to get married, yeah. And I'll just very quickly, like, I'll explain to you why this episode made me cry. So, there's these two women, and then like it's two black women, they want to get married, and it's like a week before their wedding, and they're sitting down with like one of the mums, whatever, and they're talking about okay, how, what what's got with the wedding? And like she said, well, my sister was a wedding planner, and she's pulled out. She's like, what do you mean? She's pulled out like a week before the wedding. She's pulled out of the wedding. Like, okay, cool. Um, what have you got? We've got another wedding planner, and she, they go to visit the wedding planner, and they're talking, and like, okay. He's like, okay, what do you want for your wedding? And she's like, oh, I want a secret guard and blah, blah. She kind of starts reading off the different things. And they're like, okay, cool. Have you got your dress sorted? No. Have you got caterers? And they're like, oh, well, we had a caterers. They found out we were lesbian. Then they pulled out. Hey. Yeah, all this stuff. But they start going through bare stuff. And the man's like, okay, all right, cool. I see what I can do. But when is your wedding? They're like, next week. And he's like, no, nah, bro, this is unrealistic. Like, we can't do this in a week yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. But they're like, look, we're getting married in a week. And how they met was one of them used to play American football and the other one was the coach of the team. But one is like a, a what they call like a gold star lesbian. I didn't know what this meant. But basically, I think it means that you've never gone with a man before. Like you're a proper, like pure mm. whatever. Gold star, yeah. Yeah, so you call it. Like, <laughs> brother, it was, it was mad. Like, But this basically, this program, I didn't realise, I was speaking to my mom, it comes in two parts. So like, I've watched the first part. But the, the scene in particular I want to talk about, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Is like, they obviously they have their hen night or stag night or whatever, whatever they're calling it. Yeah. So the two women, they having their own separate things. So the man of the American footballer, who used to be a footballer player, she's like, she's with her friends. And then the other one says, look, all I always do is I don't want to go to a strip club. Yeah. She's like, yeah, yeah, I promise you I'm not going to go to a strip club. Yeah. So obviously the first thing she does is go to a strip club. Isn't it? The <laughs> first thing she does is go to a strip club. Yeah. So she goes to Magic City in Atlanta. Yeah, and she's there and she's she's making it rain and she's got the, the gun that shoots out the money and like she's she's living her best life. She's like, for one night only, I'm gonna be single, kind of thing. And then so she's in there living her best life with her friends. The other one, she's in the like Uber with her friends, and she's like, Oh, I wonder where my girl is, like my girl is. And everyone's like, I don't worry about that. It's your night, let's go out, do whatever. I don't know, maybe she wants to go to dinner or something, right? Yeah. So she goes, No, nah, I want to know where she is. Where is she? Then one of them kind of like, Oh, bro, she's at Magic City. And she's like, what? I told her no strippers. They're like, oh, no, she's in Magic City or whatever. So she's like, you know, it's proper. And the thing is, with this one in particular, it's not so much what happens on um, the state, the screen. It's also got like a commentator or a narrator who's similar to like, you know, like the one who come down with me. Mm-hmm. You know, that actually he's the yeah. one that's giving you the most joke. Yeah, 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 but this yeah, one is yeah. like some American girl, like properly sounds like, oh my God, and all this foolishness here. So eventually she's like, Uber, t- take me to the strip club. So they get searched. She goes into a strip club there. Yeah? And then basically, she's like, she's looking for her girl. But as she goes in, the other girl is like properly into this. Like she's into this strip club thing, yeah? So like as the girl, her girlfriend walks in, she's actually almost between this girl's legs, like looking at her crutch, yeah? Like just looking up at the crutch Mm. as her girlfriend walks in, her fiancé walks in. Like her fiancé, like as they make eye contact, she's looking in the girl's crutch, yeah? So the girl was like, what? Like, get out, come out, come out. She takes her outside or whatever. They have like this argument. And the girl's like, look, you got to go home, minute. Like, I'm not, I don't understand what you're here for. Like, I'm with my friends, go home. 
And the girl was like, no, oh my God, I come here for you. And then you've got like all that juice up in your hair and I can't even touch your dreads. And like, she's getting bare ratchet, yeah? Like, but watch it because it's actually funny, yeah? But obviously I, it's, a, it's a family-friendly show, so I'm not going to go into all of it, yeah? yeah? But the bit that made me laugh the most was there's a bit, yeah? Well, basically, so she like, that's his money. She's like, all right, cool, we'll go, yeah? And then, so she goes left, yeah? It's like, so she goes left and then she does like a fake and then she just turns the other way and then runs up the stairs back into the strip club, yeah? And like the commentator, is she goes like, yeah, I think she forgot I used to be an American footballer, yeah? So like randomly, you're trying to get away from your girlfriend and you do like a fake and you start running. Bro, it's like one of the funniest scenes ever. Like <laughs> on a level, if you ever get a chance to watch it, Brad's in like, it's sick. And like the second part's come out, but I haven't watched the second part yet. But it was just like my bit of ratchetness that I watched. And like, I don't normally watch those programs. Mom's like, yeah, there's only like three episodes in this series so far. I'll watch it all. I, I'm not interested. But this particular story, <laughs> it tickled me something chronic, bro. It tickled me something chronic. Oh, yeah. Um, that was neat. That was up Bridezilla, bro. Like, if you do watch it, it's one of them things. I know none of you will watch it. Rich, I, I'd suggest Rich watches it because I think Rich might be the only one that is on my wavelength like that. <laughs> Yeah, I'll send it to you, Rich. I'll send it to you. All right, cool. I'll send it to you. But yeah, um, Rich, have you been watching anything or you've been working hard this week? I've been committed to, committed to the core. I've just watched the core programs that I, have, I usually watch. So nothing out of the ordinary. All right, cool. <laughs> 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 well, hopefully next week we'll do Rich Does Up Something. But guys, it's always a pleasure. It's never a chore. Mm-hmm. I think today's episode, I found out some knowledge. I learned about the motivation stuff. I also learned about history and where people came from. So thank you. To get me, Kel broke it down. Kel, again, perfect planet, bro. Although I'd watched the episode that you're talking about in particular, the volcano one, I still want to watch it again. <laughs> bro, I actually think, Kel, like, I actually think if I pay you, Will you just dub it for me so I don't even have to listen to David Attenborough? Like, just have <laughs> yeah. you on top. Well, I agree with that, <laughs> man. I agree. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that, man. <laughs> like, don't worry, Kel. We're going to do it. That's soon. This yeah. end of this year, bro. There'll be some videos that we've dubbed with Kel just talking over it, bro. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, cool. definitely. And I don't care what you say. Um, you owe me £20. And Batman and Superman are idiots. Let's, let's not go it. No, they're not, bro. Love it, bro. Love it. <laughs> You can't end on that note. How dare you? You can't end on that. You can't I think we should get it. I think we should. I think no, we should. No, that's out. No, that's out. Yeah, All right, guys. Recording. That's the Fully Geek Pod. Episode 76. We'll see Pick you next up. week. Peace. Peace out.